as we do around this time, we are now back. Back? What? Oh, yeah. Shit. My bad. We're live. Motherfucker. What? Knights of the Black Table. Knights at the Black Table. Knights at the Black Table. Right. Knights in the black table? No. Knights around? You're at the black table? You're at no. Because we're really like on no, a... No. This is true. We are we're around. On, no. We're on, we're on yeah. a, no. Because usually... Yeah. Shut up. We're like this. I don't care. No. Now we're like... God damn it. How about no. knights pulling into the black table? You know, like... Y'all are going to piss go. me off. Yeah. Y'all are going to piss knights me off. Knights of the surface table. This is true. Of the square table. I call it a rectangle. Rectangle? Okay. Yeah. Rectangle. Don't even start. Knights of the rectangle. Don't even start. Oh, yeah. We had this argument, bro. My bad. I, didn't, I fell asleep during training. It's Knights at the Black Table. Don't let them confuse you. It's, That's what the show is called. That's what the fuck it is. He's just talking shit. He's trying to bust my balls. Forget all that shit. Let's get this rolling. Now, are we doing Knights with N? Like, Knight as in the, the daytime, nighttime? No, no, or, like, no, no. are we doing, like, Actual Knights, knights and, like, Doug. Lancelot? And so, like, Lancelot. Nice. No, okay, nice. yeah. Could you so, then, who would be, table? like, Lancelot? And who would be, like, the other ones? Because I really don't know I'm, the other I'm, ones. I'm more. Arthur, bitch. You're Arthur? You're, so, you're King Arthur? Yeah. But we're knights. Not, Arthur's not a knight. He's a yes, king. Yes, he is. He was a knight first. Yeah. Was he? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but so. yeah, but you see, the round table, though, the whole, like, knights of the... the, the, the People get dubbed around here. We're oh, knights. Oh, you, you go. We're knights. I'll bring my lightsaber next time. I would love it. I got, I got, you got the Sith. I actually got the Force. So we can, we can actually have a nice battle. What together. color? Uh, yeah. You're not supposed to talk. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, Let the cameraman <laughs> speak. <laughs> you tell me what to look at. I, I just did. I don't give a fuck what you did. I can't say it now. I just said it. Well, he already <laughs> talked. Yeah, there we go. All, it's all good. Sounds to me. Keep it moving, motherfucker. And you always, the dark side. I, what? No, I'm not. I just happen to be on the dark side. I nice. totally picked this up because it was like 100 bucks at this store. Yeah. And but you went dark side. Well, I didn't have a choice. Oh, no. There was other choice at the Disney no, store. The, that the, you got that, from. Who's going to the Disney store to pay Disney that type of money? Uh, the 100 bucks? I went to the Disney It's not 100 bucks. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. I, I know because I got mine for 100 bucks. How recent was this? Uh, this was like at least three years ago. Okay. Three? For my son. Years ago, motherfucker. Right. Is it one of them little flimsy ones? No, it's actually the same one, noise and everything. Bro, I don't know if it's the same one. Actually, it's probably a little bit cheaper because I probably got it on sale. This is some high tech shit. Yeah, right man, here. it's, just, it's this probably some, the same legit. This. Some high tech shit it, right it, here. But mine actually, you can make contact with it. Whereas yours, you're probably scared to hit people oh, with that. Oh, shit, this nigga no, looks like you I'd be hitting people, throat, people all the time. The only, like person that, I, the only person I... <laughs> because... Yo, you get it squarely, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you get it squarely, bro. Why'd you look zip, at zip. Like that? Zip, zip. Close that wound like, up bro. real quick, yeah, exactly. motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm bro. Hey, look, I can't help the way I be looking sometimes. From time to time, the nigga in me just comes out. Yeah, I got this really good blue one, and I even made my oh, son so dress up. Oh, so you're a up. Jedi in training. You're not even a knight yet. I'm crushing you. Bro. What do you mean? I'm, I'm not even a knight yet. You're not even a knight, bro. Excuse you. Do you Yo, even know blue, the level? Okay. Blue is yeah? training. Blue, blue is training. training. Blue Are you sure training. about that? I'm pretty sure. Look I'm it up. Pretty sure. Look it up. Pretty because sure. actually, you have, you, have, sure. you have Chancellor, you have Jedi Knight, and then you have Jedi Master, okay? So go ahead and take a look. You want to be in training? Go ahead and take a look. You're still in training. Go ahead and take a look. You know I'm right. And the purple one was made up by Samuel Jackson when he got the role. Still in training. No, man. Still Chancellors are the ones hey, that sit up the round. Know, no, you want to know what I know? Right? You okay, know what well, I know? well, what do you, you know? know? What do you know? This blade right here yeah? means I'm the master regardless. No, it doesn't. It means you can be a Sith in training in this one, too. You just turn red. You can be a Sith in training. I'm a master. What that means is you have There is no Sith in training. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Yes, there is. There isn't. There's everybody. Every Sith has an apprentice. There's two. Every Sith master has an apprentice. Exactly. Yes, and then eventually that apprentice goes and kills the Sith. You might as well be a master. No, they don't. You don't become a master until you kill the next person behind you. I don't even need an apprentice. I'm not trying to show this. Oh, no. This is the rule of one. Jedi lore, I actually got you on that, man. This is the rule of one right here. Okay, I'll give you that because it is the rule of one. That's how the Sith does. All around the World, same song. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got we got some good stuff to talk about today. We we what was one of the things we talked about? I had like, to do it. I had to do it. Don't lie to the people. We're talking about I think R and B music. He said it was good stuff, but it's probably not. We're good probably gonna talk a little bit about John Witherspoon. Yep. All we're right, gonna right. talk a lot of shit about women. R I P pops. Yep. Um, I think we said something about the Tinder game at one point. Oh Rest shit! Peace, Let's get on the right. Tinder game. Right. I'm gonna start that on the Tinder game. Can we start with R and B? Yeah, I just oh, said no, we're going to talk like, about it. We're just going right. to talk about it. So, like, we at least got three ideas we're going to be pretty much talking about besides all the other side rants we're going to be doing. <laughs> like we do about this time. Right? a lot of ranting. Yes. So, uh, let's kick this Can't off. R&B music. No. Oh, the split. Are we starting with R&B? Hey, or? Yeah. We can start wherever you would like. You are the curator at the moment. So, go ahead. Introduce everybody. Oh, for sure. So. Or, I'm just going to say me. 
Do you really want to be introduced? You can introduce everybody. No, nah, man. Now you just put me on the spot. Oh, well, well you, you did that to yourself. Spot. You brought it up, bro. Yo. I'm the random light-skinned nigga that's just going to sit in the corner over here and chime in every now and then. I might have some funny shit to say. I might just make it weird like this. Throw out your handles. Shouldn't we do that at the end? Huh? Yeah. Huh? Well, we can do whatever the fuck we want. Yeah, I just shit. like busting people's balls. Why are you getting at me about Who's this? Who's getting at you? You're getting at me. Why are you so sensitive? <laughs> whatever. Because <laughs> I am. You My name's AJ. <laughs> um, you can catch me on Instagram with that singer from Steeltown. Uh, Twitter, I'm ajones 78 um, Yeah. <laughs> and as you know, I'm one of the hosts, Garcia. Silver you know, Gorilla. Silver Gorilla. I do what I do. <laughs> I love that vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> I also, I, I second that. Yo. Uh, what am I going to call myself today? Uh, today is Devil's Night. So I'm like totally from the Leaf Village. Uh, I'm a new Chiha. I'm saying that too. Uh, most of you so motherfuckers probably go, don't guys. know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a wicked chiha? <laughs> what, you're against the Chiha kind of something? Yeah. Fuck you. I'm against freaking four seasons of running through fucking trees. Fuck you. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm all about the Uchiha clan. Yeah, but tell me I'm wrong. I'm that, and Naruto is four seasons of running through cheese. Uchiha! This is the time where you realize you can see the look on my face, and I'm like, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm Tafari. Um, I think this is, like, technically my stuff. Kind of his stuff. Somewhat his stuff. I don't know. He's new. I'm just Are you getting formal? Yeah, I'm trying to be formal. What, you, you got nothing to say? Like, is that, I mean, no, it's not that mean? I don't have anything to say. Because it sounds like you have nothing to say, and you're just being like, you, you can, can just catch jump me at right Tap 27. That's there you page. go. Do your damn thing, and let's get this rolling. All right. So we're going to talk about R&B and the love of good music. Yo, I have a question. Because I've had a question to start this out the whole, like, the whole time. Okay. Yo, what is your go-to in your feelings record? Like something that uh, really gets you fucked up. Oh, something fuck. that gets you fucked up. Like uh, you, you hear that record and you're like, "Oh my God, she broke my heart." And then you gotta go back into your room. Yeah. You, you don't want, you don't want yeah. niggas to see you or nothing like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This nigga wants to. I go got there. some Maxwell. That's a Maxwell Ooh. will fucking hit you with some shit. No, nah, you need the record. I don't, the, I don't the, want, I don't want okay, the so artist. Okay, so if I'm gonna go record, specific record. What's that record. One? Someone's gonna say Drake, and it's probably gonna be me. <laughs> it's not likely gonna be you. I'm, I'm the old school dude, so for me, I go back when when R and B actually oh, had some steps. meaning in it. This you know, yo, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. you know when you get into this, because if you got that, what's like, if I only had one minute, that <laughs> yeah. song, a bot, like, yeah, a bot, right? That song was fucking. Was it no? Is, is it one minute? No, yeah. it's four minutes. No, if I only, only had four minutes. Is it four minutes? I th- yeah, it's four minutes. It's four minutes. Yeah, yeah. That song was deep. <laughs> yeah. And when you look at R and B today, it's just like, yo, There's girl, no. are you gonna get down? Are we gonna fuck? You know what I mean? Do you no, got a R&B side? No, R and B is pretty nasty these days. All right, yeah, R and B is not. So R&B what's your record? Ah, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna go, I'm trying to think in my mind right now. A song that hits me every time. I can go with one with uh, the Roots and um, Music Soul Child. Um, oh, oh, what is that song? All right, since I gotta go first. Yeah. All right, I got stuff in my head. So I'll go first. Um, Bittersweet Poetry, Kanye West. Mm-hmm. That one really fucks me up. Uh, gotta move on. By Tamiya. That one really, really fucks me up. Tamiya. When I hear yeah. it. Um, and I think, like, <laughs> and this is funny because it's not like, it's not necessarily one of those songs to get you in your feelings, but like, honorable mention to Escapes, You're My Little Secret. Uh. It's like, <laughs> it's not necessarily, yeah. like, I'm talking about getting in your feelings and it's on the opposite end of the spectrum, yeah. but like, sometimes you're in your feelings when you hear the record because. You're on the opposite side of the spectrum. You want to be up in that situation. Like, oh, yeah, man, where that side piece at? Why she ain't called me in the last, like, six hours? <laughs> yeah. What you got? Bring something to the table. Uh, <clears throat> no, that was actually legit. I had something in there. <clears throat> My next now, I guess? Yeah, okay. It's probably one in a million. Aaliyah. Hey. That's my boo. <clears throat> mm-hmm. My boat. I rate that. Oh man, I. I was gonna say, what if I said the world's greatest by R. Kelly? Oh, that's, that's a good
Fuck yo, you. Nobody, nobody, listen, too, yo. yo. <laughs> the rule on R. Kelly, and this is basically, I think, across the board, is that as long as it's a track that you feel a long time ago, it is what it is. Nobody's condoning. A record is a record is a record. I think we talked about it, and R. it's Kelly like you have R. to Kelly. separate the person from the art. It's a nasty motherfucker. You have yeah. to. <laughs> but you got to think about it. All the nasty shit he was doing, he created bangers. Oh, what's that? You want my security number? It's 555 got a little side note to that, though. Does anyone else think that uh, The Weeknd sounds like Michael Jackson? No. Nah. When he sings? You're telling nah. me some of his songs? No. 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 I listen to too much Michael. That you want to know like, why? Just, there's a remnant. Here's, here's my... Okay, listen to Dirty Diana by him and listen to Michael. Michael sounds like he's really trying to get that bitch away from him. Like, you never oh. make me stay. So get you. Like, he gets right in there. Whereas, we can, you never make me stay. So yeah. get he's all like, he's please, passive please, aggressive about please, it. Please, I can't yeah, take please it anymore. Leave. Like, please, please leave. Please leave. He's got to be. Please leave. That no, song, Dirty a, Diana, is like a track to be like, yo, this girl's a hoe and she's trying to take me from my girl. Get the fuck away from me. Yeah, but you don't right? want to. You don't want to take on that actual key of Michael Jackson because you'll get people saying, yo, you're biting. Yeah, but. He, but the, either way though, either way, the point with that scenario is just that if you're gonna if you're gonna copy an artist, you, good? you yeah, gotta do sure. something yeah, that's like so legit, right? You gotta do something. Even if he didn't do it the same way, he still gotta have. He still with that song, he has to have more conviction, and that's the problem with that song. It's oh, like yeah, it's too soft. But it's it's different. It's different in these okay, times. Okay, but that's what the, that's another thing about these times, right? Is like. And we're not all we're not super old around here, nothing like that. But like. Prince we, is the baddest motherfucker of all time. Yo, hands down. yo, Nikki, if you ever heard hands the Sonic Key, oh shit, hands down. Prince, yo, Prince is the somebody only. Somebody play, yeah, I'm gonna play Prince, Nikki Prince right now. Prince, Prince is one of those guys like he could go into a room and just own it, no matter what. Like this man plays keyboard, plays guitar, sings like a fucking motherfucker, wore the fucked up, most fucked up shit, and still got bitches. Yeah, but you gotta you gotta remember. Yeah, like, but you gotta remember. How did Charlie Murphy do say it? Love <laughs> different. No, women, like, how did Charlie Murphy say it? It was the eighties. Yeah, eighties. Yeah, he like, was most dressed like a bitch. <laughs> yo, but you had a lot women. of dudes like that. You had a lot of dudes. Yo, you had dudes <laughs> wearing makeup and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. He had Jerry Curls. Motherfucker was wearing fucking uh, what's that mascara and shit. Mascara <laughs> tights, some leotard pumps, some and pumps blouse. and a blouse, bro. <laughs> Yo, you walk in a club like that on Remember a Remember when they used Woo! to have those fucking uh, shoulder, shoulder pads? pads? Yep. Yeah, bro. Yep. Yo, it wasn't just for women. Nope. So it it takes you to a time where uh, when you look at it now, like Frank Ocean, I have to say, oh, that's another, he's another amazing. Good, yeah. Um, yeah, probably I don't know control. if you guys. I don't, I don't know if you guys ever heard of Flow Tree. Yeah. Yes. Flow Tree was fucking. Come all on. you gotta do is say yes, dude. That song, I was just like, whatever you want. Right. Whatever, whatever you, you need. need. Yes. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Or that one Brian McKnight nigga. Oh, oh shit. Yo. Oh shit. Let's no. back at one, right? Here's the thing, like, yo, here's the thing. One. It's, it's like, like a dream come true. Two. two. It's just gonna be with you. Three. Oh, shit. Yo, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh, shit. That wasn't his own song. He had another good couple tracks, too. Like, oh, yeah. Like, he's got a ton. He's like, got a few, so bro. He has remember a little Joe? Song. Y'all remember Joe? You know what? I fucking hate Joe. Uh, yo. Even though, yo. Even though yo. he had some tracks. Yo, but there's someone else think Tracy Chapman was a man? At first. At first. At first. But that is a dope. Yo, that car. That's that car song is like you that fast car. car. That's, yo, that's, yo, that that's that song gets that's in your heat. feelings. That's yeah. heat. That shit is like when you're like the whole world fast is cars cars on you. Heat. So yo, what was the track? You were looking for the track. We didn't get your uh, name. What was the name of the track? Marvin Gaye. Still looking. Okay. Marvin. See, this is the thing about Marvin. <clears throat> Marvin is is such an icon, just the same as Ray Charles. Yeah. You know who's an underrated fucking R and B artist actually, bro? Ooh. Oh my bad. Oh, I heard Halo shit. R and B artist, low key, underrated, Justin Timberlake. See, okay, look. He's not a. See, hold this up, is the hold thing. up, hold he's up. He's not an R&B. He's, he's not an R&B singer. In the middle, we, that's what you're we, we, he's a pop singer. We hold up, he's hold up, he's because down. because uh, we had this conversation the other day. We were talking about it, and I kind of spoke out of my ass. No disrespect, Justin. You're just not the greatest. It's <clears> not a big deal. 
you'll be all right. He's a great um, artist. Great artist. He's, a, he's an amazing artist. Amazing performer. And he does R&B music very, very well. He's but the, 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 sure. the But the audience that he speaks to yeah. is not necessarily, like, <laughs> we were popping mirrors off in the beginning, too. But we're not popping mirrors off six months later. Now that record is like a get married track. Like yep. if you're getting married, that's the record when your girl's walking down the aisle or some shit like that. No, understand? no, it's still let's get married. Yeah, yeah, we're, jagged edge. We're we're, we're, <laughs> we're black, bro. So you're can, not hearing what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. On a popular it. scale, yep. yep. No, no, somebody would play a record like that. Like it's it's pop music. So I can't give him that R and B title because, yeah. I'll and I'll say that he's better than like. A lot of your average R and B singer <coughs> is miles ahead of you. Yo, them. people get some corny shit at their weddings. I bartended weddings for like three years, man. I didn't hear one John Legend song. I heard it maybe like twice. Oh, ordinary mm. people's. Nah, yeah. man, just John Legend. If you if at your you, wedding, you I think if you play ordinary people at a wedding, like we are just ordinary people. That song right there, it's just like. But you have to your crazy. crowd. Your crowd has to be able to hit on that. You said. Jagged Edge and like let's get married. And yeah, but you got to remember. But you have to have like yeah. you're, if you get married, yeah. the crowd that's gonna be at your wedding is it's gonna, gonna be, be like, oh shit! Yeah, yeah. Everybody's gonna get up and be all up into it. Gonna, everybody's gonna have a drink in the air. You know what I mean? Yeah. True. Well, except for the niggas that ain't trying to get married. They go, nope, I'm not rating this. No, right but now. you're. I'll fuck with yo, this record, but I ain't rating this right if now. You're, if you're trying to fuck that night, you're getting into whatever song is going on because yeah. all those girls when they hear "Let's Get Married." They want to bust a move. Facts. They want to get a drink and they want to bust Big a move. Facts. And by the time the end of the night okay, comes, what about, what about you and I by John Legend? That'd be a good one. To fucking or all of me. I don't. I don't think. Oh, I haven't heard it. And in a my long bad. Time. That first song I said is not technically like the Kanye song is not. It's a, it's a hip hop record. But like, you ask what songs really get you in your feelings though. Mm-hmm. So, I have not given mine. Yet. Yeah, so Y'all ready for this? I'm still looking. Okay, we got Music Soul Child Love. Ooh. Fucking, I always, always, always. It's like, the truest it's the, form right? of what a man feels yes. like. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> no, Everything. I, I, like, I'll tell you the honest truth. When you listen to that song and the album, yeah. He's speaking from a man's point of view. Everything. Something to, to give to a woman to be mm-hmm. like, this is what I feel. Yeah. The and lyrics I just alone, want like you every night I understand. long for you, wanting you never getting the chance to really get to know you like that is exactly that love like hate relationship we, we we're trying to get that love aspect in our lives and we never really truly get that chance and that's all we want that whole lyrics of the song if you pay attention to each and every word is exactly what we scream for inside of us i try to right? i try to show that to my baby moms <clears throat> yep and i was you just like and many a times i've made cds with him on it okay. and it really like he has such an article of songs yeah, that hit on that, <clears throat> yep. like um, friends. Yep. And he's just like, I'm just trying to get, I'm just trying to get to know you if you give yep. me a chance. Yep. You the next you track mean? is gonna be um, "I Love You" by Drew Hill. True. Right. That one's another good one too Drew because Hill like it, 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 that whole song talks about the the struggle of the relationship of Somebody how like. Somebody sleep. That's what I go to, that's what I go to, right? But like that whole struggle of, that of the relationship, right? Where it's my just bed. like, you know, my bed. he breaks up with the girl and he's like, I don't want, I never really wanted to break up with you. I never wanted you to leave because, you know, I love you and I want you, I want you back. I want to marry all you, right. all that kind of stuff, right? Since so, we're going to let fucking R. Kelly off the hook for the fucking music shit, I wish. Done. That's another good really? one too. I wish yeah, there too. That's a good one. <clears throat> I don't know, man. It's a classic. It, br- it brings me back to Space Jam. You know yep. what I mean? No, that, yeah. you're thinking of I Believe I Can Fly. But yeah, it's just... It, wasn't no. I wish? No, I was on. No, I wish is from TP fucking whatever, whatever. What's I wish? What movie? Was I wish it? was um. It's like ninety eight, ninety nine. I wish, I wish. No, I know I the wish. song, but it was in a movie. I, you're thinking Gotham City. Gotham City. Yo, this thing is a fool. Yo, you're a whole nut for that. One. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I'm ready. I'm ready. Ooh, Just you, yeah. Art Kelly. I knew all this That's stuff back in the day, man. <laughs> Gotham City. Hey, I can't remember. Because he's wearing the fucking. <laughs> and I was like, no, you're wearing all white and wearing uh, the fucking sealed. black. That one, the other one, Kiss from a Rose, that one from. Oh, oh shit. yo, that's that another good song, oh, too. That, yeah, it gets right in your feelings, Look, man. I'm sorry. Kiss I'm, from a Rose? I'm sorry. That's you no? just don't like Seal. It's not even like. Uh, <laughs> you're just mad that yeah, he got stupid. Heidi Klum and you did it. I don't give a fuck. Because I was mad at that too. I was like, yo, when he got Heidi Klum, I was like. Right? 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 My nigga. Yo, nah. and then like another one, like nah. we're gonna bring it back even further now. 
new addition if it isn't love. Ooh, Ooh shit. I thought they were going to say like something like Jackie Wilson. Nah, like, man. Ooh. Like, drops and shit. that whole, like, <laughs> I don't love her. I try to tell myself. <laughs> you can see it in my eyes. Trust uh, me. If it isn't love, uh, why, why does, does it feel so bad? Why does she stay on my mind? mind. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I mean. Like, yo, but like, that's, so but that's, that was it. That's, that's what, what I'm talking sick, about. Right? <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Like, uh, they had a couple of them. How, <laughs> how R&B was before. Like, you, <laughs> right? don't, you don't have dudes singing new tracks now nah. going yeah, all up. Unless thing. it's Frank. Unless it's like Frank Ocean. Was it you? Was it you that posted the fucking meme about fucking R&B singers? It's like, RB hasn't been good because niggas ain't stretching their arms out. Yes, like they yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They ain't reaching out for they shit no more. They ain't out for right? shit like, no more. Every you know RB I mean? song from the late 80s to the 90s was always like, please don't leave me. Girl. So we gotta throw we gotta throw we gotta throw Usher in there then. Oh that's oh. no, that was my next thing. I was Usher gonna go moving mountains. Song. If it's not moving mountains, it's burn. If it's not uh, burn, fuck. it's uh you got it bad, because that's like Woo! the first one. 8701's album. Ew. The whole <laughs> album is fired. Okay. The whole album is fired. You fire. got it bad is one of them records right? where like, you be up in your yo, feelings, right? dog. You be in your feelings. Oh, or you make me wanna. When you listen to make me wanna, you just like, oh man, you okay. uh, like, Marvin's oh. room. Marvin's room, room is yeah. dope. Yeah, Marvin's room is not I'm bad. not gonna Mar- lie. Marvin's room is when you just got home from the fucking club mm-hmm. and you're thinking about calling your fucking old bitch. Yeah. And, you're sitting there going, and when I say bitch, I mean it from the dearest, the dearest part of my heart. <laughs> I mean it with all sincerity of love and and all that See, bullshit. I can't. I can't do Drake though. I can't do Drake as R and B because it's he. He's a rapper Look, first. The records. No, when he the, came records in. the records. No, to be told, if it to, hits, to, to, to be totally honest, it, it falls into the category of the minute that you start singing. Yeah, but like it's, it's just it's you're on the R and B. But side I feel like he's the reason why. We have shit R and B now. No, 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 no. And here's no, no, here's no, what. No, listen. Let, let me no, let's no, my, no, let me put my point no, out there. He's not the reason. Here's why. why. Because he came out as a rapper first, and then he started singing. So now you don't have a different like demographic. Because back in the day, back in the day, let's go back to the eighties and nineties. Oh, hold when on. did you when did you have singers mm-hmm. that were rappers as well? No, very few. Cigarette. No, the very minute, few. The, no, 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 no. The <clears throat> minute the, the minute that Mary J. Blige and and Method Man made that song. That's when Look. it was cool because I came up in that era. I get where that. If you liked R and B as a dude, you can't say you like R and B. But when, like what I'm trying to say in that scenario, you like there you had, like, oh. had a singer come in and sing <laughs> with a rapper. <laughs> but see, it didn't. That didn't happen till after the fact. It didn't happen till after. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. When you had Method Man and Mary J, then you no, saw. No, 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 no. Because that means yep. nothing. Because like you're sitting here, and you're saying you're you're putting this on Drake, when in reality, the the like the main culprit of this. And yo, I love you, my nigga. So don't get it twisted. <laughs> <laughs> but Ja Rule is the culprit here, okay? <laughs> ja Rule is the culprit. He is the beginning yeah, of all of yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. Ja. He is the beginning. What the, you what don't you ever want to What do you mean? What am I talking what about? I'm, what I'm He's trying, saying that the singing rapper, bro. The singing rapper, because that rapper. melded two yeah. genres together. You used to have hip hop <laughs> and R and B. Whoa, what up, you and I'm my baby. There's a lot of that's R&B. Not that's not singing. Oh, that's that. That's I know it's not singing. It's not good singing. But what I'm trying to say now is that you don't have like, for example, Chris Brown when he first came out, his first album, straight R and B. Now he's a mix between the two. Trey songs. Came out straight R and B. Nigga came out rapping now afterwards as well too. He no. raps and sings. He does both, but he, he sings he, raps. But yeah. like what I'm trying to say is that back in the early like late '80s, He's early '90s, it blurred lines, bro. Exactly blurred. We blurred lines now, so it's harder for a person to break it as an R and B artist or a hip hop artist because you have to be able to do both in order for you to succeed. No, but you have to be good at both. You can't be you can't be okay at rapping and then okay yeah. at singing. Oh. You have to be you have to be good at both. You well, can't classifies be okay at rapping and okay no, at singing. He's trash. But he's, trash. He's, he's there. He's trash. He's not he's there. there. So he's, he's, he's nobody. Who classify is nobody. <laughs> he's a nobody. Yeah. Because really and truthfully, ask any Canadian, mm-hmm. and when you go to say, give me a Canadian rapper, he'll never be the first one you call it. Justin Ever. Bieber. Ever. <laughs> Ever. Even him. That guy's and like Justin, blurred. And, he's blurred and, his lines and too. And Justin Bieber is trash, but he's a good he's a good yeah. artist. Yep. Mm-hmm. As a musician or whatever, mm-hmm. I don't like his music. Mm-hmm. I don't. But I it's never hard. Did. It's hard nowadays to like again. You're you're listening to music and you can't discern it's if it's an R and B track or a hip hop track now because a lot of it's blurred. 
Uh, right? But it's blurred. But the whole scene itself, like I said, it all started what was the with Mary J. R&B. R&B. That gets you in your feelings? Yeah. And that one Justin Bieber song you're telling me that doesn't get you in your feelings? What song is that? I don't. That, what is she? Whoa. He's oh, got a few. He's got a few records. Uh, oh, my mom don't like you, but she likes yeah. everyone. No. Uh, not really. <laughs> no. If it's going to be anyone, it's going to be, I, I don't just give want a somebody fuck. to love. <laughs> 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 right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a good song. You can no. tell he like wrote that from it's, somewhere. You know no, what I mean? He, like, he was coming look, from a place. Beaver has a few records that can get you yep. up in your feelings, bro. Not I, if I wanted to look it up, you, but you're not listening for that. You're There's not that one with Chris Brown. No, but the thing Brown. about it is, I do exactly. check that. There's as, that one with Chris Brown. He does. It's actually not. As bad. a music lover, a I definitely give it a chance. I definitely give it a chance to see what's good. Or what's the what? What do you mean? What do you mean? It's that's, just catchy. Yeah, it's, that's it's, just catchy. It's, catchy. it's, it's catchy. catchy as fuck. That's just catchy. What's that oh, wait. Though? No, he actually has a track off that album that has Big Mike, uh, no, Big Sean on it. It actually is dope. The, like, just Sean's part, like, the way he talks about his rap and shit like that, it's freaking Go dope. Ahead. Um, but... <coughs> you don't mind that. So. Go ahead. Oh, You're in actually, I think that's... Don't rush. You ain't got to make your mind up. That's the song. You ain't got to make your mind up. I think it is. But yeah, when I look at R&B and I look at it where it is now... The thing about R&B now is just, it's straight to the point. It's not about, yeah. but I, and, and I'm wrong to a certain degree. There are some R&B people that have some great tracks that talk about fucking love. And I could go into like Sorry. a whole, like you got Sago and you got fucking. Khalid's pretty good. Khalid? Khalid? Yeah, Khalid, my bad. Khalid. Uh, Khalid's pretty good. I like his shit. He's got that I one track. I like sign, Jeremiah. Jeremiah, yeah, he's got some, he's got some okay tracks. Well, see, and that's where the blur line again, mm-hmm. because Ty Dollar is rapping, yep. but singing. Yeah. You I know what I mean? Yeah. He's just a musician, too, right? He fucking plays instruments. It sucks, yeah. because, like, you have pop music, you have rock music, you have indie rock music, you have all of these different categories <coughs> for the other demographics, but when it comes to, like, urban music, we'll say, it's now, it's not hip-hop, it's hip-hop and R&B combined, as opposed to just being, these are R and B singers and these are yeah, hip hop singers. Addison. Yeah, we don't I'm, have the. I'm worried about them right now. Yeah, I know, right? We don't have the separation anymore, which kind of sucks because, like, that was one thing that was awesome. Like, you knew Space. "Boys to Men" was an hit, was an R and B track. Oh. Like they any. Oh, oh I, you know that's another thing. I forgot to mention "Boys to Men," man. That's the thing. Pass you by. Oh. Um, it, uh, I'll never know. That's actually uh, end of the road. End of the road is probably one of the biggest say ones right there. Um, I forgot about the wallet. Uh, say goodbye to yesterday. You ever heard of Diwale? It's so hard to oh. say goodbye to yesterday. That's no. that one. Diwale has the dopest track, and it's about cheating. And uh, when you Alicia listen Keys. to the song, Alicia Keys, her yeah. some of her stuff, right? Alicia. Buying got you. The thing that I love about his song exactly. about Buying cheating you, that one. is yeah. that yeah. he or took. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah. The flow, thing about flow. the song, it's eleven eleven. Make a wish. The flow of conversation. So the one thing about Diwale, if you never heard about him, and this song called "I'm Cheating," and the way that he talks about the song, and he's kind of like music soul child. You got to listen to the whole song. And the whole track is that he's cheating with his girlfriend because she has different personalities. <coughs> That's fire. I like that. And I was That's just, a good concept. Nice concept. And I was That's just like, nice. what? That's actually nice. Yeah, I got to cool put that down. Video. I might yeah. do a little shit with that later. That'd be a cool music video. Fucking yeah. I can't stand. How do, I don't care. Do Yo. How do you <laughs> <see? laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. Everybody's mom and their auntie. Yeah. Every single time that video yeah, came on, real. you gotta like you no, get but kicked off the, the couch. Reason. You get kicked off the couch. <laughs> right? That's what no, I'm but he was the so reason bad, that all these motherfuckers start taking their shirts off and shirts. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's all that was. No, but did you <laughs> notice when he did that video, every single RB dude was like, I have to take my shirt off. Oh, no, I no, dude, to. dude, dude. You, have, you to. forget, okay, yo, I actually up. have witnessed this. I went to a New Jack Swing concert back maybe about seven, eight years ago. Please. They had, y'all ready for some old school shit? Y'all ready? Y'all ever heard of a group called Guy? Yep. yep. They had Guy there. Aaron Hall was performing at this, right? SWV. Woo! Right? We forgot about them. And then Blackstreet. Nothing. Even older, after seven, yeah. right? So, anyways, Aaron so Hall, got some groups this there, man, you should have seen, this guy didn't perform with the shirt on. 
And I, there were so many older women just throwing their panties at him and stuff. There was this like sixty-year-old woman beside me and everything. The first guy. And that was it. I, that's all he did. And he was a, he was skinnier than me on stage. No muscle, just. <laughs> 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 And that's all he would do. I'm like, is he gonna sing a song? He's just like, yeah. Every girl's just, oh my god, touching his body and shit. Just yeah, like, like you're pulling like, niggas on the stage. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, you know what I mean? Ain't I'm just sitting there. I'm like, listen. I'm like, honestly, man, why am I? You can say that, but I'm like, yo, rappers be like that too, man. Yeah, rappers are, are like, pretty bad like some that. Some of now. the newer rappers are better about it. Yeah, I saw Kendrick. Kendrick ain't trying to take off his shirt. But when I saw Nelly, <laughs> this guy had a shirt off for like the first song. <laughs> Remember? Isn't his uncle LL Cool J though, who's the king of that? No. no. Yo, L, yeah, LL. No. LL. 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 As time went on, yep. yes, he would he would be on that fucking expeditious. Nah, kind of fucking even shit. when he came out with I'm no. bad, he had a shirt off with the fucking uh, but, no, but beauty. He had the, he had the, he had the, the chains no, hanging, he had the fucking sure. the chains yeah. out, no, and everything, no, man. Look, I'm if you not. go look, if you look at him, it's like Mama's no, gonna knock you really. out. Those not tracks back then, he had a shirt off on those. I could be wrong. He was scrawny as fuck back then, but he had a shirt off the big fucking heavy gold chains. I just don't think so. Yeah, you could probably mm-hmm. find some pictures on him. No joke, right? Because this is that was that was it was okay, right? You didn't have to have a built body to show off your fucking body back in the, back in the eighties and nineties. You didn't have to have a built body body yeah, fucking yeah. ten years ago. I was just like, uh, you kind of have to now. Can't talk it's about it. You don't. Re- no, that's not true. We have people like Khaled out here fucking doing their thing. Yo, Khaled's, I like Khaled, man. He's actually really good. Okay, yeah, you got people. DJ Khaled. You, you got Rick Ross out here. Yo, Rick Shadow Ross. boxing. <laughs> <laughs> like, ain't nobody trying to see that. <laughs> no, but see, as a big motherfucker, you gotta do that appreciate shit. Appreciate that shit. You gotta do that shit. Yeah, man. You Biggie it. wouldn't do that shit because Biggie's like, yo, I'm big. I, I literally could just say whatever the fuck I want, yeah. and pussy will drop. A yo, did you guys pussy. know that man could sing? Biggie, yeah. I don't doubt it. There's a clip. Um, I think it's before Nasty Girls. Um, the video. Here's there's a song. He sits there and he goes, every time I close my eyes. I wake up feeling so horny. And then the song starts, starts right? That'd You're just like, dope. what? Biggie? What? That'd yeah. <laughs> but so. that wasn't his lane. So. Not at all. Exactly. They stayed in their lane back in the day. They didn't merge the two. They didn't Missy blur the lines. Missy too, bro. Missy, oh, Missy was initially part right? of SWV and only mm. didn't end up as the like as a final cut fat. in the group because she was too big. <laughs> And she wasn't marketable like that. Yeah. Missy comes back like three. Oh yeah. shit. Yeah. Missy comes second. back three years later. Right. Is Missy Misdemeanor Elliot? How the fuck did we not bring up Jodeci? Oh, I was already ready for that. That was my next. That was my last one. It you just, guys, like, we were talking. We went on a rant, and I was gonna say my other one that gets me in my feelings is, can I talk to you? You got so many, bro. Oh, because I've grown up on R&B. My parents so conceived I, but, uh, me to the Jodeci album, Diary of a Mad Band, guaranteed. <laughs> right, I know that for a fact. Hey, in the I, same know, band, I know everything. for a fact my parents were fucking to cool in the game. Right, like, I was just like, everybody wanted to do the one on the wall. On the wall, get the back up off the wall. Tell me, yo, I yo, I was at the party, bro. That right. shit was a party song right there. Right. You got get lately. You. Lately is another good fucking track. That was probably one of my favorite tracks off their album. And then. The other one they have is fucking, uh, oh my god, what's the name, what's the name, what's the name, what's the name? Uh, I want to freak you. Fien? Fienin? Fienin? That's the other one, yep. That's, that's the track, it's Fienin, right? Um, yeah, yeah my bad. Fienin. Um, oh fuck, I feel like there's one more. Oh, 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 I actually sang this at my parents' wedding. Um, Forever My Lady. Forever, Forever My, my lady. lady. It's uh, like a dream. I'm holding you close. You're kissing me uh, uh, What's his name? The one nigga with, with his ice box. Oh, oh Marion. Marion? Yeah. That I love. Yo. yo, he's from the younger generation. Yeah. We're calling all yo, these But that, that, that song, song. Listen, listen. Good. It's good. That good. song was it's fucking good. Yo, serious. Yo, Icebox was serious. Jodeci, Casey, and Jodeci. Yo, Icebox. Yo, Icebox. I love it. That's good. Long time. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yo. Watching the Jamie Foxx show when they were on, yeah. and he oh sits there God. and he sings the Lately song right in front of them, and you're just like, Jamie, yes. Yeah, like Chris Yo. Brown though, like uh, fucking excuse me, miss. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After re-observation, 
I still think Indigo is dope as fuck. I don't care what you say. Okay, okay. But, um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's all right. But not his best shit. It's fucking. Uh, uh, I'm just thinking about Icebox again. Sorry. Okay, see, and it's <laughs> crazy, right? Because you can compare to other albums that people have put out. I listen to a lot. Of Personally, music, like, like for me, Fame is probably Chris Brown's best yeah, album. Yeah, that's a good one. Top yep, to bottom. Yep. I like yep. 2000. Is it 2012 or forever or whatever it's called? That one was good. Fame is when he came back from the Charges. Frank That's why I liked it. He came out with Transform You. That was like <laughs> hard as fuck. Here. But if I Frank if I get into out. some self, self control, that's some cool. new yep. artists, you got to look at like Summer Walker. You got to look at uh, who am I missing here? Yo, I listen Gallant. to. I know it's not her, but it's like H E R. I don't know what it's. Stands Xavier for. Omar. Sango. You know who you you guys got to listen to? There's if you're nice looking for some really good right vocals now. and new shit, there's these two guys I listen to on a regular, and they do really good mashups. Uh, one Mays, guy's Alex Ayono. Fucking dope. Right? Um, yeah. The other one, by my favorite, his name is William Singe. He's actually, he's actually from Australia. He does this fantastic rendition for uh, Wild Thoughts, right? And in that song, he, uh, he actually brings... The original like Carlos Santana line. version. Hmm? Yeah, it's all good. He brings back the original Carlos Santana, Santana song and mashes it in with Wild Thoughts. Right? So, cool. and he has a, a really good Which old Santana school music. song? Uh, Maria Maria. You know, because Wild Thoughts is based oh, yeah, off Maria yeah. Maria. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. Bro, Brace so, and track. Yeah, yeah. So he starts off with Maria That's Maria, the and then he goes into... Wild the car, uh, Wild Thoughts, which yeah. is fantastic, That's right? That's not so. his original song. Santana been around, bro. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm not saying it's original song, but I'm saying like that Lose the original version of mm, the original God, first you know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, don't don't yeah. underestimate kid. Kid knows records, yo. Oh, man, knows records, I never said yo. that. I said I like I like he's bringing the new shit, like the old older shit versus the us older. No, nah, but Icebox is a good one, it. yo. Icebox, yo. Icebox, Icebox got people, you right in your feelings. It got people right in their feelings. Right, boys. Because it was, it nah, was right nah, in the nah. times. It was right, that first, right in the times that where everybody was like, you know, 16 is just, even, uh, just, you're just in just your feelings. Oh, yo, that song? Yeah, nah, nah. Uh, if it's Drake, uh-huh. if it's Drake, nah, nah. it's gotta yeah. be own it, own it. We were listening own to it. that track. We would finish it. work and we'd be driving on the Trust highway, issues, listening man. to the whole fucking yeah, album. Man. Trust issues. Yeah. You're just sitting there in the back of the car, if just I'm being gonna like pick something from Drake, thinking about some bitches, and be like, yeah. man, I'm fucked up. Okay, from Omarion guys... though, have you listened to the Icebox remix? Yes. Probably. Usher's verse alone slaps you in the. Yeah, bro. What he's some... just like, yo, <laughs> like every the whole lyrics, she's just like, you know, she was that was you from the beginning, bro. And you're just like, uh, this song was supposed to be about the girl doing me wrong, and you gonna call me out on my shit? Fuck you, Usher, but I love you. <laughs> shout out to T Pain. <laughs> yo, T Pain. Yeah. Five o'clock in the morning, right? bro. I'm just, yeah. I'm sit every time I hear that record, especially <laughs> if I'm up and it's late and it's on like a weekend or some mm-hmm. shit. And you're still, yo, bro, that record will get you. It'll get you. Okay, so now we talk about what's in our feelings. Well, I'm in love with the stripper. Yeah, we'll right? Music classic. Might as well. Sorry? Might as well stick with music. Yeah, we're doing good with that. Oh. Now, what, what's, a tr- a what's a good track that gets you fucking hype? Like, like you got you track or anything, anything. Uh, any track that you got yo, you listen to it? Meek Mill, that Meek Mill Meek song. Mill. Night, oh. Dreams and Nightmares? Dreams and Nightmares. Yo, <laughs> right, right, right? <laughs> Yo, right when that's bass drops, hold up, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished? Yeah, like, I, yo, I don't know like, what it is about okay. that record. Yep, hair standing up <laughs> right now. <laughs> I don't know right. what it is when I hear it that matter, record. doesn't matter, right? Because the way it starts off, right? It's bro, so nice and somber, and then the it beat just drops, has, and it's just It like, has that boom, altitude. Boom, 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 boom. That you're altitude like, comes in, whoa. and you're just like, murder. That shit was fucking to that level, too, in my opinion. Like, fucking, like, championships and fucking... Oh, bro. And all that shit. No mercy. Big time. Fuck, man. There's a, there, okay, I like Tyler, a, the creator, man. I don't yeah, give a fuck. <laughs> Tyler, the creator. I love how you got the look going on, too. With yo, you, right? <laughs> he's got that shit where it just, it just, he just yeah, starts bro. saying some shit, and you're just like, I'm going to cut somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cut I'm you. Ha <laughs> 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 ha, I cut you. That seems like, that seems you know like a Tyler, lot. You know who influenced Tyler, the creator, heavy? Who? Ghetto Boys. Oh, I can really? see that. I can see that. Ghetto Yo, right. one of the greatest Chucky, songs ever. Bill and shit, sure. Yo, my mind's playing tricks on me. My mind playing that yeah. song to me <laughs> is like, and Scarface on his own, he's yeah. just a beast. He's a beast. On my block is one of my uh, favorite songs by him. R.I.P. John Witherspoon, R.I.P. Bushwick Bill. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bushwick Bill. I miss you, granddad. <clears throat> I know, right? Bang, bang, bang. 
Back. It's gonna back, be. Back, it's back, gonna back, be back. really. It's it's one of the things I for was a looking moment. For, I was looking yeah. forward to Friday, man. I, I the, really the was. Thing that, I'm the actually thing that I look legitimately at. upset. I'm upset about this shit. Not the thing that I'm I looking at it from that it. is just like we live in a time where there's not a lot of stars. There's not a lot of people that you really kind of like. I wish I was that motherfucker. I wish you know I could hang out. Actually, here's a motherfucking question for everybody. Three people that you could, you think you could fucking hang out with, you could fucking smoke weed, and you would be actual friends. What's the criteria? That's Whoever you think. Like in real life? Yeah. Or I'm high. So like, hey, I'm high. So uh, I'm high. I'm high. All right. Well, I think I'd be all right hanging all right. out with Snoop. Snoop? So was it like somebody we gotta hang? Okay, like, are we talking about artists, actors, just celebrities? Yeah, whoever. Period. Okay, so anybody. Anybody. anybody so say it again. Say it again. So, for one, so what okay, did I say? So for one, you gotta what? For one, be friends with, chill with, smoke weed with, and be an actual. Yes, yeah, so I already said actual friend. Be like, oh, okay. Like so friend someone friend. that you think you can connect well with. Okay. Smoke weed with. You're like side. Your your best friend. Yeah. You're not three, just one. No, no I'll pick three. That'll be good. It's be interesting, man. Oh, come on. Now, hold. Here's another question. Actually, I want to say this because the nerds in the room, fictitious, fictitional, sorry, mm -hmm. or real. Oh, like fictitious, like characters? fictitious characters or real. Ooh, we could fucking. Because we could, we could, we so could fucking making, dive into some serious crazy. shit. That's making it even harder. It seems like a lot. <laughs> no, All right, no, we'll just go real. Let's like go real. Let's we'll go real. Let's not we'll, we'll go scared. real we'll go people, real. and we'll real come people. back to that. We'll come back to that another it seems day. Seems like, like a lot. Like a lot. I gotta give him a couple days to repair. Like <laughs> shit. <laughs> this is like oh, brain overload. There right. for a second, I was like, whoa, there's all these people. So, I, so I'll go first. Go. So, smoke weed with. I. I think me and Kendrick, we could smoke weed together. Cool. Uh, chill with, who I really want to like, just actually just hang out and be cool with. Uh, I would say... Just thought of another track got me in my feelings. Continue. Uh, okay, let me just go with being friends. I think me and Jamie Foxx could be friends. Okay, okay. And chill with... I'd have to say, I would like to, Eddie Murphy. I would, I'd want to feel like how Eddie Murphy would be, like, just chilling the fuck out. Mm -hmm. Just being like, yo, man, tell me, right, like, I, your I shit. I think I can just pile off three. Smoke weed with, probably fucking Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good shit, fucking good shit. It's a good choice. <laughs> smoke weed with Barack Obama, just be like, yo, what the fuck were you thinking when you took all that money from the NRA? Just piss this nigga off. Or he probably wouldn't want to be friends with me, so I'd just smoke weed with him. Yeah. <laughs> he's a he's a really yeah. diplomatic dude, so he could take he could yeah, take he that. Might probably actually, take that he, shit. He might be like, now listen here. Now listen here, young brother. <laughs> I feel as though what you're saying at this particular moment is out of your league. Like, Let's not have this shit. conversation. All right, Barry, my bad. Barry, Hit this blunt, my nigga, my and we can continue. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like shit. So you're smoking with Barack. Who are you chilling with? Well, I'm chilling with probably <laughs> fucking Shia LaBeouf. Yo, no, he'd be, no, be a wild yeah. fucker to yeah, anyway, you know what I mean? Because I can drink with him, right? Yeah. I don't have to smoke weed. I can just party with this nigga. And, and like, guaranteed, oh, drunk around him and he'd shit. be the most wild out of you. You could just yeah. chill. You could just yeah. watch him just do his shit. Yeah, and he'd walk over everybody and be like, yeah, yo, you want to fucking do this guy? Let's do it! Let's do it! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck just happened? And then he'd be like, why are you bringing that up right now? Yes. <laughs> That's not what I'm on right now. What's going on? What's happening? Chill. Ha, As a friend, like my good friend, I would say Tupac if he was alive. Okay. But he's not okay. alive, so I'll say fucking. Gotta be alive, though. J. Cole. Okay. J. Cole. Fair enough. Nice. You, you wanna go first? Uh, I still, I'm still thinking, to be honest with you. Alright. <laughs> so, who I wanna smoke with? Uh, can it be like. Like, what if it's like a crew? Yeah. Okay, so I'd wanna like smoke with. Meth and Red, Meth and Man and Red Man. So the Wu-Tang Clan. Wu no. Wu so because I wouldn't want to smoke with the Wu-Tang No, you can't cross lines. You got to be with people. No, Meth and Red are their own thing. Oh, so I can... oh sorry, I'm high. I thought it's like saying Cheech and Chong. No. Meth and Red are their own thing. I, I, I want to smoke with Meth and Red. I was like, yo. Oh, my God. Smoke with Meth and Red. Who I would want to chill with? Yo, your cat's over here on one, bro. Did you give him catnip? No. He'll be all right. 
Um, damn, chill. Because he just said chill with Buff, and that threw me. You know what? I think I would want to chill with Ryan Reynolds. Okay. I think that would be a yeah, crazy be fucking day. Because like, I could. Ins- it's like, yo, let's let's prank this motherfucker on set right now, and yeah. he'd be down. And <laughs> and now I'm pissed because I want to see a comedian. I'm so high. I'm like, oh, he'd be down, and I think it would be a fun fucking day. I think it'd be fucking cool. This guy's going yeah. last strategic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> chess move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, as right. far as right. As far as somebody on to be to friends with. <laughs> I just get one more play. See. Like if I was gonna be friends, and like you, you have to, I have to think I'm compatible with that person. Yeah, be right? friends. Yeah. <clears throat> Could be whoever. No, like what I'm saying is like I have to think in my head like this is the line of question. I got a good. Mm-hmm. Like, are you compatible with this person? Mm-hmm. Like, you're obviously I'm not Who gonna be like think? Donald Trump's gonna be my friend, even though I know that we have conflicting views and everything mm-hmm. like that. Like I don't think no, in my no, head that we you could. No, unless you were Kanye and you were just okay, like no, Donald Trump. Do no, athletes again. All right, so. Yeah, we have to be compatible with each other as far as personality is concerned. Um, that's kind of tough. Mm. Fuck. Come on, man. We got we got a show going on right I now. I mean, he can jump in any time and you can revisit finish, it with finish me. Finish it off. I'm just like, I really don't. It's, it's He's tough. He's stumped. Yeah, it's tough. Like I, no, I'm not it's, friendly with a lot of people. You like you're going down. Yo, no, but you're just like actors or like fucking musicians. You mean anybody, really? It's, no, it's, 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 it's even anybody. with all that. Like I, anybody. I'm thinking about people, but I'm like, if you talk about athletes, like I don't watch. All right, fuck one, kill one, marry one. Martha Stewart, Oprah Winfrey. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> we can do that. Because I'm already ready. All right. I've you know, been sitting here listen, for a while thinking listen, about that. Listen, listen. All right, all right. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'll just try and be quick about it. Like, if I, if I wanted to be friends with somebody, for me, outside of just their personality or whatever, I want that person to, like, help. I think friends are supposed to help you get to a, a better space. Yes. You guys are constantly working to get to a better space, yes. right? So, uh, fuck. Like, maybe, like, Gary V or somebody. <laughs> somebody, Gary V or somebody. Gary V? Yeah, Gary yeah. V, yeah. That'd be fucking awesome. Like, somebody like that. Really? You, know, you, want be, you want to be friends with Gary Vee? Yeah, David Go- I don't. I think David Goggins is a bit too extreme. I don't. I don't think like in real. And, and I'm not saying. Is, I'm not saying like I was trying to think of somebody in like in. No, you just being fr- like f- being friends with Gary Vee is gonna be like he's gonna be off the clock. He's not gonna be like okay, bro. So I'm gonna give you five thousand dollars, and this is what's gonna happen. He's gonna be your boy. Like he's gonna be like, yo, dude. You so can do it this, this way, or you can do it this way. I'm not gonna fucking. Uh, I'm not gonna advise you. If you ask me for advice, it's completely different than me advising you because we're friends. You know what I mean? Well, if I was gonna say it like that, I'd say Joe Rogan. But I'm not like big on hunting. I think that's the only thing that we would not agree so on. So what? Yo. But everything else, like as far as like the way I, view I like the world, fat bitches. You like skinny bitches. Are we not friends? Okay, but like that's not totally true. <laughs> you do like skinny bitches. You just don't like going for them. And I. Do you like some bigger girls? I just don't go for anybody more than half the time. So do you so, see where the friendship? You see how the friendship works? <laughs> like that's just making it difficult. How it works out. <laughs> you're just making it difficult. All right, that, that was way is, difficult than that. A friend is hard, man. What no, am I gonna say? Right. I want Jay Z to be what my athletes friend. Athletes, would you smoke with, chill with, and be friends with? Athletes, athletes? yeah. See, so, yeah, like I said, I don't like watch sports like that. To, like, if I was gonna say something, I'd probably say all fighters. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Athletes. Everybody would be a fighter. So again, what was Wrestlers. the criteria again? We have smoke with. I'd chill with smoke my with, cousin. Yep. Chill with. Chill with. And be friends with. Be friends with. Be friends with yeah. Gabriel Iglesias. Yeah, you're fucked. That guy would be so much fun to be around he's, and he's hang ch- with him. He's chill. Yeah. He's right? super like, chill. And, and the bright side with that, he is also a fuck. He smokes weed. So I'd probably smoke shit with him too because he'd be funnier when he's fucking high. Or right? not. Or, no, 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 I've heard his stories. He's talked about the one time he smoked fucking weed with, with Snoop Dogg, and he was fucking all over the fucking moon with it, right? Um, so if I had to choose, I'm going to choose different people, but mm-hmm. definitely friends with Gabriel Iglesias. Um, chill with, I'm going to go with Ryan Reynolds on that one, because he'd be a very fun person just to be around with his sarcasm and stuff like that, right? And at the same time, too, he'd kind of, like, inspire you to do more, because he is from Vancouver, he's Canadian, he's... He's really grinded himself to get to where he is right mm-hmm. now. So he does have a bit of an inspiring like taste to him in that scenario. Um, then smoke with. This is the hard one. 
This is the hard one. Cause I smoke me, one the hard one though. That yeah. was the easiest this shit. Is, the reason why it's hard for me because there's a lot of people that I know I would have a great time just smoking with, and that's like Chris Brown, Snoop Dogg, fucking. Like you mentioned J Cole. You mentioned fucking Kendrick La- or you mentioned Kendrick Lamar, right? Like. Um, a couple, a couple girls I'd fucking probably smoke with and stuff like that because they'd be fucking hilarious to smoke oh, with, right? What's her, like, what's her name? Yeah, like, see, I didn't even think about females. Oh, like, like, I like probably Emma's, have a female yo, friend, man, bro. Like, <laughs> what's her name? Like, Tiffany Haddish. Right? Tiffany Haddish. I think um, hanging out with her would be yeah, the you fucking know coolest my shit. My friend would be Topanga. That's my friend. Nah, she, right? yo, <laughs> Topanga's real. I don't right? yo, that's what I'm saying. If you're, talking about, would be my friend. Right, if you're talking about Topanga, the actual character, no. she ain't having none of that no, shit. No, yeah. I'm talking about She's not having none of that what? shit. The girl who plays Tocan- Topanga, yeah. Yeah. The yeah. girl that plays Topanga, yeah. I, I don't even know. I, I think she's a real no, straight she, edge. She just drinks wine and shit, and she just thinks yeah, about Yeah, bro. Yeah, it's shit. like there's a bunch of like female actors that I would fucking love to just smoke with because they're just wild. Right who, and who else? Like so, like, female act, <clears throat> another female actress. Sean William Scott. No. Sean William Scott. Yeah, I haven't talked to. The, you haven't seen this guy in a long damn time. It'd be awesome if we can mm. see that. Right? Stifler. You know who else would be great? And I've actually met Stifler. him in person. Um, okay, there's yeah, it's William. William Baldwin. Okay. All right. So I've actually met him in person. A guy comes up to my store this one time, and he's trying to get this case for his phone. I used to work in cell phones, right? So he's sitting there trying to buy a case for his phone. I recognized him, but I wasn't sure if it was him. So, I, and you know, you don't want to dick ride and be like, yeah, man, you're an actor, blah, 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 right? And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, no, oh, I've seen this guy in a, in a recent movie, and I fucking have this movie at home, which is John Carpenter's Vampires, by the way, which is one of my favorite freaking vampire films. Um, Fuck vampires. Oh, right? he's so, dead, though. Sorry? He's dead. William Baldwin? Or John Carpenter. The the one that was in John's Carpenter, he's dead. Um. Yeah, he's dead. No. He's dead. No, he's William dead. Baldwin. No, the way away you recently? say it is it's yeah, so he's, fucking. He's been dead. He's no, he's dead. not. It's so been, fucking. The one that you're talking about was in Vampires. Yeah, it's not him. He's, dead. he's still alive. No, look he's it up. Dead. Look up William he's, Baldwin. Doing it right no dead. joke. Okay, so anyways, this story goes. I look at him as he comes to pay for his case, and I sit there and say, you know. You look like a Baldwin, and he sits there and he goes, "Like which one?" Oh, he wasn't. In, he wasn't in fact. He was. His other brother was in it. He, yeah, I know. Will, that's what I'm saying. William Baldwin's yeah. not dead. That's what I was like. Wait a minute, yeah. nah, man, he's not dead. Yeah, he wasn't in vampires. Yeah. His so, other brother. He shows up at my store and I sit there and I say, "I'm like, you look Stephen like a Baldwin. Baldwin." He was in Sliver. Was he in Sliver? Yeah. I haven't seen Sliver. He was in Sliver with um, the girl from fucking. Oh my God, what's her name? How? Sharon Stone. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I know which one. I know the movie you're talking about now. Yeah, because. So, anyways, yeah, he fucking here. sits there and he's like, "Yeah, so which will Baldwin look like?" I'm like, "Alec Baldwin." And he's like, "That guy's overrated." As he pulls out his IDs and throws it on my counter, and it says William Baldwin, I'm like motherfucker. I look at him I'm like, "Dude, that's awesome! You're William Baldwin! Oh my god!" Right? If you turned to him and like backdraft, he would have been like, <laughs> yeah. "Hey, no, I." I like even just, more. I would have been like <laughs> vampires. I, honestly, if you did, va- if, you, if you said vampires, he's like. Brother's dead, bro. <laughs> Brother's dead. <laughs> but yeah, no, honestly, I think I could chill with him. He's he's not a bad guy to chill with, and he seems That's like a good he, choice. he'd be alright. You know? So so yeah. So Gabriel Glitz is for friends. Um chill with uh yeah, William Baldwin. Um smoke with. It's probably gonna be like Method Man, Red Man as he's doing this, because I'm thinking about high high right now. <laughs> right? Like fuck. Uh, like pretty much any fucking black superstar at this moment, like or yeah. even female superstar, got weed. right? Like <laughs> got blunts. <laughs> I want to hang out with Little Yachty. I don't. This, 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 <laughs> Whoa, that was, that's so I random. Yo, that. I want to because I'm like, I want to. You want to hate? I want to go undercover to understand this generation. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I would smoke with Sean Paul. Nah. That guy would be fucking fun to smoke nah, with. Nah, fuck that. Yeah, man, it'd be hilarious. Thank or you. Elephant Thank Man. You. Or Elephant Man. Thank Yo, back you. You do not want to hang out with Elephant Man. No, no, no. You're yeah, not ready for that. You're no. not ready for that. Elephant Man. I'm, I can't even hang out with Elephant Man, bro. <laughs> Elephant Man's a serious dude. He was talking about Sanchez. You can't just hang out with these dudes and be like, Y'all love. Peace. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Elephant Man's not about that. Elephant yeah. Man's like, yo, yeah. we're going to go ramp up this party. Yeah. yeah that's why I, be, I, be, uh, I can chill with that guy because I'm a party guy, man. Oh, I'd be like, yo, let's go. We yeah. got Pondy Riva. I'd be like, yes, let's go. Let's go. Pondy Riva. Yo, listen. There's levels, yo. <laughs> yeah. That thing is like, uh huh. Yeah, see, if popcorn. you want to you hang out with somebody, I don't want to hang out with Peace, popcorn. love, chill shit. 
I mean, it wouldn't be super chill. You know, there's some actually, you know but... what? You know who I should have said to be friends with? Kanye. Yeah. No, I, I couldn't fr- handle it. Fr- How, Sway? I couldn't. <laughs> How? <laughs> Sorry, I had to. You, like, Yo, you had got audience. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, Kanye. I, I was holding that one, bro. I knew somebody was going to say Yo, that. Yo, Kanye for me. No. He's my dude. He's my dude. Okay, no, but I we're totally gonna... understand where the fuck he is, his mind goes. I can't. I can't. No, man. And oh, majority shit. people, you know me, like. Oh, you know what? Smoking with Seth Rogen. All day. Okay. Alex Jones. All day. Seth Rogen be fucking hilarious. Right. I wouldn't smoke uh, no, with Alex Jones. Talk about the conspiracy. <laughs> I wouldn't fuck oh, the, cra- the crazy yeah. dude, Alex Jones? I, I, I saw a TV. guy and him fucking have a conversation talking about uh, impossible, impossible meat by fucking Burger King. Is fucking human meat, and I was like, "Bro, you're fucking, you're fucking me up. <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking me up." It changed my whole, perspective. Changed my whole cause I'm like, "We're going down the rabbit hole now, yeah." <laughs> cause it's just like all these people on the possible meats and shit being like, "No, nope. this is the new wave. This is a new thing." All right, it seems like we're done with R and B. We're done with R and B. Oh, we've been done with R and B. So here's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna just ask right now, real quick: Does anybody here think the world is flat? We, how do you bring that up every uh, single time? Because it's my favorite conspiracy, and because no. because I have a no, friend no that rational, you know personally. No real <laughs> rational person will sit there and tell you that the world is flat. What are you talking about? You were in the room with a and rational what did I, person. Do you remember what I said? No, I have to watch the podcast. I literally said it's on your our opinion. legacy podcast. <laughs> it's literally your opinion. It, it, it's. There's no yeah. other way to put it. It's been proven. It's, it, no matter how many times you prove it over and over and over again, <clears throat> it is what it is. You Why know is it I called mean? the globe? Oh, you don't want to ask those questions. I know, but say, like, yeah, I'm we, not, we, well, I'm not, I'm not we ain't getting in there. We ain't getting there. You're right, we ain't getting there. All right, so. That's hilarious. That's like, so we that shut the conversation <laughs> down. Push it, push it, push it. It's, it's <laughs> literally <laughs> like, <laughs> like no, but asking the question, are there aliens? Or has there been aliens? Oh, there's so got to be aliens out there, You know what I mean? Because... Come on. The universe is so fucking big. We barely scratched the... Not even... We can't even say we scratched the... So you believe in aliens, but you don't believe in the underground people? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? The New York City? <laughs> <laughs> what the f- Yo, like, the, like when they have that show, Beauty and the Beast, and the, the Beast is living in the sewers. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. It's like the. Yo. Ninja Turtles, don't be hating. Yo, Ninja, yo. It started with Beauty and the Beast. I'm not talking about no turtles, bro. That lived in New York City in the tunnels, in the subways. And then you had fucking Ninja Turtles came out right after that. I was like, you, you never know heard what? of the underground lizards? Yo, fuck that Girl, shit. Yo, these guys think the world is flat. There's underground people. Oh, there are lizard people. Up. There's all kinds of fucked up shit going on, man. People are fucked. They believe all kinds of ridiculous shit without having to do their due diligence to actually listen to knowledgeable people that will give them the information they <clears> need <throat> on this shit. Are we talking about the Morlocks? Yeah. Mole people. I'm going to just take that in stride. You know Hans Moon from The Simpsons? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of the name. I was like, fuck, I know this name. It's on top of my fucking head. I had to look up so Meryl. So I'm like, yo. You're so late. I, so <laughs> I know. <laughs> Favorite episode of The Simpsons? Uh, oh. Actually, yo, the episode where he has that babysitter who, like, spits on his hand and tells oh, him the, and the he future. Never watches his... And he never washes his hand. That actually, yo, all the time, whenever I used to watch that, I'd be like, I have a crush on this girl, and I'm never gonna wash my hand because yeah. she touched it. Yeah. Because well, of that episode, that, okay. it's like old, old, old Mine episode. Is who wants a quickie mark? I fucking love that shit. <laughs> Which one? Who wants a? They did a. They did a. A show. Uh, what's it called? Uh, a musical. They're all outside the fucking store. Oh, like who? Like um, when he lost his quickie mark. I, I don't even remember. All I, re- that one. all I remember is I this, this is when we start getting this, we Ooh, start having red hearts. Mark. Yeah, it's who needs the quickie mark. Yeah, and so we yeah, just get red hairs down. and shit. I was super high, <clears throat> and and I I literally like the song was on the TV and I faded into my fucking high and I was like I became a Simpson character. That's in that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I was literally like, who it? wants that quickie mark? I do. Who wants that quickie mark? I do. So, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna this whole oh, shit. Oh, it's shit. actually a tough question. <clears throat> hmm. You? I'm thinking about it right now. Um, <laughs> there's so many good ones. 
Oh, um, I know mine. You know what? Frank Grimes is probably one of nah, my favorite. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Because that's fucking. Yo, yo, the Simpsons is What? Doing, I, don't I know can't just go like this, but why not? Yeah. I'm Homer Simpson. <laughs> Grimey, grimey, I think you need to calm down. Yeah. Look at these wires. I shouldn't touch them because I'll probably get electrocuted. Yeah. But it doesn't matter because I'm home. Grimey, you probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> I just remembered that. I just remembered that now. I like the one with the, uh, <sighs> with the critic when they do the film festival. Uh, the, <laughs> they're trying to do the Ebert and fucking... Um, Oh, what, what were their names? Siskel and Ebert. Yeah. Yeah, and they fucking with the fucking with Barney, where he's like, "Don't worry about me, I'm already dead." <laughs> 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 yeah. Do you know how many people yeah. fucking hate Barney? Yeah. I remember my I nephews. My nephews had this Mr. one Plow. tape. That shit's fucking yeah. hilarious. Yeah, they had this one tape of Barney, and I literally was like, they're playing it over and over and over and over again. And I literally took the tape, and it was garbage day, and I put it on top of the garbage, and I was like, send it. <laughs> oh my god. Over this interview is. Oh shit. I'm playing with people, bro. Fuck Yo, it. I was never a fan of that Barney shit. Or the one where uh, Margin. Uh, Homer trying to get like their sex life back, and they go on the parachute. And they fucking <laughs> get on the glass. Like, Everybody, look at our beautiful floor. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> or when they go places, like when they get kicked, when he gets they kicked, they've been kicked out of every single country on the planet. That's I'm pretty sure yeah, there's like man. four left that they're allowed to go into that's or some shit. Or, oh no, no, what's the one? Where, no, that's my favorite one, yo. Because they, they end up going to England. I think it's the England episode where they say it. She's like, oh, we get like we got vacation time. We could go somewhere. Homer's like, we can do this, and Marge is like, no. And she like pulls out the map, and there's all these exits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's all these exits. We like really we're not allowed in any of these places. Yeah. <laughs> we can't go there. Remember the one where fucking they move and fucking Homer's new boss is a fucking like Scorpio. Yeah, it's Scorpio. Scorpio. <laughs> 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 like Yo, a fucking Scorpio villain. is the realest thing of that. <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna lie, yeah. yo. This guy's gonna, yeah, this Homer guy's fighting the government. He's, like, oh, he's yeah. fighting the government with no fucking bucks to give, bro. He's like, you guys can't take me. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh, I'm sorry, yo. Whoever brought up the Simpsons an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yo. So what about John Witherspoon, man? This man passed away today. Ooh. Rest in peace. You know, honestly, man. It's, it's going to suck because, like, they're talking about how they're going to do a new Boondocks that season. Right? I, ho- I, hope I hope they so filmed it to, at hope, least. Yeah, it was man, done it so we can see it. Already. I yeah, so I would love to recorded. hear his voice one more time, you know? Just one more time. I think they have the technology that they can really utilize <clears throat> any voice, of the shit that but he's I don't, had. Yeah, but it's not going to be the same. It's not the Knowing same. that he's passed away. It's, it's not the same, but we'll be surprised. Bro, be surprised. This guy has some of the most epic ad libs of all time well we were talking about that earlier we were yeah. talking like for me it, it goes to the, the wayne's brothers right. and i've watched every single yes. episode yes just so yes. i can see yes. him yes. and see them and the whole the way the family dynamic was it was just beautiful it was just like here you got pops coming in and being yeah. like fuck you nigga <laughs> well, you ugly you couldn't say that because it was national television so you'd be like what are you trying to do honestly Seriously, what do you want to do? <laughs> I, I was like, I was Don't watching something this morning, like six o'clock in the morning, I and I was going through man, Instagram and shit. watching all the different Jamie Fox, um, so many other people, and especially I saw uh, Marlon Wayans, and he wrote this really nice eulogy. Oh, of course, he and did. he really was just like, yeah, man, those two better have. You Marlon already and- got the keys. Everything that you taught us, we will pass that on. Thank you for the five years or whatever we were on the show. And just that really, it, the way that if, when you read it, man, like the way he went on with his, his family and so on. And he's like, yo, we really lost somebody huge. Yeah. And it's funny, like, like he's a comedian and probably one of the <coughs> few comedians that never did stand up. Yep. He did right? stand up. No. 
I don't remember him ever doing stand up. He did stand up. He, he, ran, nope. he grew up with he fucking did Richard stand up. Pryor and shit, man. He's got to up. The way he is, <laughs> he that, did makes stand up. that makes perfect sense. That makes perfect sense. Have you seen the, him on the Joe Rogan podcast? With yeah, he did stand up. I would like to see it. He I got to check it out. But either way, he's one of those comedians that don't like do stand up. He didn't have to do stand up at this point because he had too much other shit going on. He was like the host, too, of the stand up show. He has a really cool story. You guys should listen to that podcast. I'll check it out. Yeah, definitely sure, man. But either way, man, John Witherspoon, Shout out like, to JRE. yeah, yep. man. So like, nope. what was your he favorite was an moment? Tell you, he was an actor and a model and comedian. What yeah, was your favorite moment comedian, with him? Like, stand up shit. Like, are we are we talking Friday? Wayne's Brothers. Listen, like, is there an episode like from Wayne's said, Brothers for you? It'll be a more, Friday. It'll be a more like life I said, no, bro. Friday. Yeah. Like I said, oh, me, Timmy, the man's got the no, most. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah but like, I, I got love. As far as yeah. everybody, he has the most ad libs in the game. Like the funniest ones. I'm, granddad. Can you take us to the court to see that trial today? To the city to see the trial Bulldogs. today? He's like, shit, all the money I spent on them Nikes, you better just do it. <laughs> <laughs> or, yo, the first episode of Boondocks Alone, where he's just like, Dad, granddad, you said nigga 42 times yesterday. Nigga hush. <laughs> nigga hush. <laughs> Boys! <laughs> Everything about him, he's like, and or the one episode right, where it's like, the uh, Usher he slaps episode. Him, he slaps him in the, fr- in the first episode. <laughs> yeah. He slaps him. Had that dream about lying, telling the white people the truth again. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, Don't you ever dream about telling white people the truth. <laughs> You know, the best part about that episode, though, is, like, how fucking uh, Huey looks at Granddad. He's like, you can't sit there and take down the white supremacy with cheese. Nigga, go get me the Gouda. Go get me the Gouda. Go get me the Gouda. Right? He's like, shut up. Man's the greatest. Oh, I think for me is, I think it's uh, Friday, Friday yep. after next. Yep. When he's just like, yo, <laughs> I think these ribs are so good, make you want to hit your mama. <laughs> <laughs> when he punches out his mama and then she's back in the kitchen and she's just like Mama you put it too much salt she's like <laughs> Yo that Ooh, shit every that time so I good. see it is one oh, of the man. greatest so Christmas good, you stories. Stop your mama. Oh Woo. man and then flavor, I was just man. watching the, the clip from Boomerang. Mm-hmm. And the clip from Boomerang was fucking so dope. It should be right here. It actually is right here. I forgot he was in Boomerang. Fuck. And he sits and goes, I hear, Nikki too. I hear your pussy yeah. whip. He's just like, you need to whip that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be pussy whip. Whip that pussy. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my God. Just the way that he fucking holds <laughs> into that shit. Like, we, we lost somebody that really. Honestly, no, man. like you gotta watch Black Jesus. He was he was the shit, he was right? the bum the in that show, mm-hmm. and he was he was cool as fuck. And he was just John Witherspoon doing what he does best. And everything like, that he ever did, yeah. he was that one thing where people said he was the one guy that you would see that <laughs> you never ever had a bad thing to say. That's a never. hard thing never. in life to be that guy where you're well respected. And you're well loved at the same time. Right? Rest in paradise, the good brother. Big time, man. You know. <laughs> this Who told him about the extra bedroom? <laughs> like hog <laughs> mouths. Right? Like, fuck, man. I like pig's feet. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way he eats the fucking grapes. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> like the fact that he said they got taken down by an usher. Craig! Like, the usher just guides you to your seats. What the fuck is up all that? Craig, come in here. <laughs> come in here, Craig. Oh man! Dude, you can it. smell my shit. I've been smelling your shit from time. It's like, yo, that that bathroom oh scene, God. and he's still eating while he's on the toilet. <laughs> and it makes you, and it makes you realize when he's talking about the fucking dogs and shit. He's like, oh damn, I got my foot up a dog. It's my, it's my it's my oh pleasure. my God, man! Yo, the man's oh, like, man. the man's like, it's not the big dogs you gotta worry about. It's the chihuahuas. It's one time. <laughs> And it, the big ass. <laughs> oh my god, so man. I, to, I had to grab it again. And I took it. Man. He was always, oh, so always, good. always funny when so he came good. on screen, man. Honestly, like, it, you look at, like, how old he made it to. Like, he never I, seemed that old. He, he never, never seemed, exactly, never right? Seemed like, old. you always knew he was the dad. Oh, every Everything cry. you seen him in. Oh, sorry? Oh, okay. <laughs> Like, you always knew he was the dad, and he looked like the dad, but, like, he was just, honestly, man, I, mean, I love him, I love him because he was, like, one of the brothers all the time, like, 
all the time. Yeah, yeah, it's it's one of those school, things, man. It's an yeah, old man. school That's kind of feel, thing, like man. They're old school, man. Yeah. To be able to be with Richard Pryor, Red Fox, to be, around to be with some of the greatest comics that are out there, and it's a funny thing. It's a hard life. It's a very hard struggle, and I know he's probably had his struggles and everything. And mm. when you bring it back to now, like I said, it, we're losing so many great people. And it's very hard to have people come into that light and be like, like if you look at Kevin Hart. Yep. But if you look at Dave Chappelle, Dave Chappelle <laughs> is that new Yo. Eddie Murphy. <clears throat> if you look at Kevin Hart, he's that new fucking, Jamie Fox. you know what I mean? Jamie yeah. Foxx. Jamie Foxx was on that, you know what I mean? And it was just like, Man, there's Jamie so Fox many other comedians. 50. I know, right? And you think about how long it took him to get to where he is now. He's actually, to me, I ha- I hold him in the highest regard for that reason. Who, Jamie like, Foxx? Jamie Foxx, because he, like, he grinded things like the Jamie Foxx show, little small parts here and there and some other shows that he started off with as, as well, right? And, like, grinded to the point where he finally got his freaking grammy nomination no gra- grammy yeah. grammy and actually yeah. no grammy and oscar he's, no yeah. he's a like, he's, it took it forever he says it he says it the best i'm a triple threat right i'm like, an actor i'm a comedian i'm a singer. singer yeah this man used to sit his jokes he talk about like he's like girls would be like yo jamie sing for me and he'd be like i i don't know what to sing so i'd sit there and bring like whatever's on the tv so i'd be like there were three boys, there were three girls. And I like, start singing the Brady Bunch song and shit like that. Mind you, that is completely not how the tune is supposed to be. I just fucked that up, but it's okay. Um, either way, but he would sit there and sing songs You'll that were on right. the TV. They'll be all right. Right? Like, so it's just like, the fact that this man could get boom the way he did by singing the way he did and played the piano because he was a musician as well. Yep. Right? And then to see how long it took him just to get Ray... definitely one of the guys i hold in high regard for that reason like he he was like mid 30s early 30s when he got ray early 30s no 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 no. yeah he was no, he was, he's a, he's older than me he's in his 40s and when he got when he got ray because when because when ray came out i was it was like 2001 okay okay years. even then like that that shows no, how long he's, he's grinding no. he's in right his 40s. to get to where he no. is he's in his 40s right now no he's like fucking what? Almost 2010? Just, just look, no, it's not that, no. <clears throat> no, definitely. Way before that. It's like 2004, 2005? Yeah, I'm thinking like 2004. 100%. That's my bet. 2004. 2004, right on the nose. Right? But think about it. It took him how long to get to where he is there? Everybody has that Yo, struggle. Yo, Hannibal Barris? Is a beast. Yo, Hannibal Burst is hilarious. I love that guy, uh, man. He's hilarious. I mean, yeah, no. Uh, he's all right. He's, the thing about it is he's in so many different movies and stuff like that where he's coming up. He's, he, he's, he's coming there. up. There's so many comedians. There's so many where I'm just like, yo, I'm just like, as, credits, as me being an amateur the Marvel comedian. Marvel credits are interesting. I don't know. But that's the thing that I look at now. Like, I look at when you look at the embodiment of your life and what's there. Yeah. You know what I mean? You kind of ask yourself the question, you know, have I done? Have I done enough? And especially, like, with us doing this show, it's just, like, it'd be amazing to get viewers. Oh, it's just stupidness. Because we were having a conversation. We're literally going to start ranting about Tinder in, like, two minutes. I was literally about mm -hmm. to say the same. Same wavelength right we're, there. We're, yeah, I love my it. voice got to that. It's time to talk about some real shit. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. I was all like, right. Yeah, Let's do this. It's all dumb what shit. the fuck is up with Tinder? Honestly. I'm going to tell you the honest truth. I'm an old cat, so for me, I'm, I'm all about seeing it and fucking approaching it and, and doing what I got to do. Last night, we were fucking, we were out on Augusta, and it was this. Yeah, no niggas can call me? I literally leave a block away from just pretty much, you know where I live. I'm like on Young Street. Come and be like, yo, AJ, we're going to be going to Augusta for a little bit. Uh, would you like to uh, care for a couple of drinks? We could have I'd be like, that. hey, we huh, I but will be right there. But we didn't. Yeah. Uh, Fuck all y'all. 
Well, Fuck so, all y'all. No, hold up. You cool. So we're, yeah. I'm, just know, right? <laughs> hey, I'm just no, standing there. I'm just standing there. I don't know what it is about Augusta yeah, uh, Street no, and me. Can't apologize for it because we just yeah. wasn't a thought. We I thought about you with the show. I don't oh, know. I'm so it. happy you right? did. For like, the, so happy. It's for oh the my God. It's, it's, Thank I, you. It's the important <laughs> show. <laughs> I'm trying to look you right in your eyes. I can't, yeah, do yeah. I can't do it. I'm like, motherfucker. You know what? Have another drink on me, man. Have another drink on me. I apologize. It's like, it's like, seriously. I'm sorry. Like, like, you probably went out at what? Like 11 o'clock? You hit me with a lot of sass. Right? 12, 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Oh, oh, even better. So I was done work at 845. Probably got home by like 930, give or take. These niggas could be like, yo, AJ, hey, whoa, whoa, I'm going to be going whoa, whoa, like see? a block from here whoa, to Augusta. Whoa. Would y'all want to maybe run through? Whoa. I could have flown over hold here up, hold up, hold up, in like two seconds because I live up. a block away. Hold up. Smoke a joint with y'all, no fuckers, and be like, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. let's go party. Are you done? Are you done? And pl- considering done? I probably would have had a bit of a liquor in me, Are you done? and I had weed, I'm for you I could have opened up so many conversations for you guys. You to be done. See, actually, that's that a good point. not a bad idea. That's a good point. No disaster with your shit. I was like, tell the story. Notice how his tune changes, changes though, right? He's like, I'm gonna tell the story. No, this, no, is this, is, up, this is me when I'm high and drinking right now. The not, way I'm talking right not, now, this is me right here. You didn't let me finish. We're Canadian. We get to do a lot of things here. So, well, as I tell the story. Okay, yeah, I know for sure. So, as I tell the story. We do. So, what goes on? So, I'm sitting there, I'm posted up. This man's sitting, he's sitting in front of me. And I'm standing there. I see this beautiful fucking Spanish girl fucking walk. And she starts talking, whatever she's talking. I'm hearing what they're saying. They're talking about smoking a spliff. So the dude that's with them, she's like, you should stop and talk to them dudes about where you, where should you go and smoke. And in so that she's scenario, back. pause for a second. In that scenario, I have two pre-rolls sitting in my motherfucking kitchen that we could have been like, yo, AJ, go. And I would have been a block away. You would have seen me just like, do, 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 do. Oh no, he ruined it. Oh, he killed it. He killed the segment because okay, okay. the thing that happened was okay. she comes walking back, and as she walks back, she just goes, boom, 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 and this dude sees her. My other homie Reggie sees, and them the two of them are like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, boom, boom, boom. Yo, listen, listen, nigga. It was funny. Look. Cause she looked directly at this guy, and she gave him like a like a hard, you know those hard once overs. Like she gave him the stare, and then like a two two two, like straight up. She gave him a hard once over. You know what I'm saying? So I I see this, and Reggie sees it. So I I see it, and I turn back. I look at Reggie. He's got this look on his face, like God damn. And this guy, I look over at him, and he's stunned. He's just like, yeah. Watching her move down the street or whatever, right? I instantly started dying. I couldn't help myself. So this dude starts cracking. She's over at the next bar. So obviously, when she walks back, she's not going to be like, you had a, you have an opportunity to say something. Which, in my mind, nigga mind is like, it's not my if, fault. if you try to get it, you're going to get it. It is what fault. it is. But I'll never forget one of my uncles said to me, because I did the same shit. And I'll tell you the story what happened. I'm in New York. I'm in Brooklyn. I'm out, my uncle's cleaning his car out. And I'm on the curb there. And this girl walks by and he stops her. And he's just like, starts talking to her. And the way, like, I can see he's just putting it on. And he's just like, trying to get, get this girl. Out, and I just start dying. Dying. I'm like, motherfucker's working for this pussy. And this pussy ain't giving you shit. So I'm dying laughing. This motherfucker catches me inside the apartment. And he goes... Nigga, never, ever, when a man's talking to a woman, you laugh. That was flagrant. And I was just like, I don't even know what flagrant is, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my okay. God. So I thought what it was saying. Because I see where this is going now. Um, you can be, like, the big man if you want. I'm going to laugh when I want to laugh if I have to laugh. That's how that shit gonna be. Why are you getting defensive? Bro? I'm not getting defensive. You're getting defensive. Okay, yo, defensive. about this Tinder game, though. Honestly, have you gotten any luck off this shit? No. Have you gotten any luck off this shit? Never tried. Have you gotten any luck off this shit? No, I don't even fucking do this. Yeah, you seem like a nigga who you fucking. You got you in school, too? Yeah. Yeah, you got girls. You're good. Like, look at you. Thank you. Look at you, nigga. Like, fuck, I'm not surprised. If you don't have pussy, I'd slap you. 
Honestly, I'd be upset. Right, you know, I don't know if I should move away from you. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, re- let me rephrase that. If you haven't had pussy in the last month. Thank you, brother. You haven't had pussy in the last month. I assume you got pussy in the last month. We good, we good, we good. He ain't saying no. He ain't saying no. He ain't saying no. All right, I appreciate that too. But honestly, like, it's just, what the fuck is up with this Tinder game, man? Uh, why does it gotta be? Look, it's the social media game, period. Yeah, bro. but seriously, every girl's gotta be like, I work out. Or, like, you see, uh, yeah. like, <laughs> that's what the fuck, that's man? That's what you're looking, though, bro. I don't so want a girl who, I want a girl to be real. Yeah, a girl who says she works out probably works out maybe once Yo, a fucking six months. Hold on a second. Yeah, Before, because, like, I'd be seeing a lot of girls at the school, I'm, school I'm, shit, I'm, and they'd be there every day. They'd be there every day, every day. I feel like I need to just take some birth for it just so I can fucking meet that shit. What else are you gonna do? The thing I loved about going to Mohawk was the simple fact is when I went to the gym and I knew some hot bitches and I'd be with my bitch and my bitch is looking at me like, how do you know that bitch? How do you? She is fucking gorgeous. I want to fuck that bitch. How the fuck do you know that bitch? You a fat motherfucking greasy motherfucker. How the fuck do you know that bitch? I'm like, well, maybe tell you something, baby. You don't know what I do when I'm not around you, and that's a good fucking thing, too, because you would lose your motherfucking mind. You might cut yourself, and I don't want you to do that. And the best part about that story is by the time he got home, he probably got the most amazing head ever. Yo, yo, for real, yo, for real. Because he has so much to work for. She's like, I got to prove that I'm the yo, best head he's I ever was, had. I kid you not, we were fucking, we were fucking right, like, just a couple meters away from where her daughter room was. She's like, I had something to prove yeah. that night. Yeah, man, she she worked that shit like she oh. fucking she owes yeah, you right. money. I'm high. Right? Like I'm fuck man. I, but I had I, the thing about more right, I, I had some pretty sure one neighbor balcony guy snapping. Oh yeah. I don't give a fuck. Oh yeah. If you, you snap it all you want. Go all the time. Snap it all the way. Snap it all the way. Look, it's just open. Send us bitches. <laughs> Not to say that I don't have a sense of you wanna speak for other people? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I'm speaking for other people, like because I'm saying because I'm because I'm saying for me lately, I literally just stand there. I'm just posting. I'm doing yeah, me, but that's and you it's doing just working you, out. bro. If you were on that shit in that moment, maybe the atmosphere and hitting you like it's supposed to, or whatever the hell the case may be. You know, you have to just be in Bathroom that moment. For me, I'll be back. If you're not in that moment, then you ain't gonna be doing shit. You're just gonna be chilling, drinking like you're at any other pub or bar or anything like that. Oh, we're not. People, the yo, when I say the thirst is real, like being thirsty as, as a thing, like towards men and women, like that is a that is a thing right now, bro. These girls are out here and they be thirsty, and these dudes they three times as thirsty for that fucking. Nah, I, I really sit there and I I always want to have an even kill to Everybody's it. Everybody's constantly everybody's on, on the game. same thing, but everybody's not fucking being real about what they want. Everybody is constantly. And they're sitting like on you'll game. get a girl who. Wants a relationship, but wants to fuck. And then she wants to fuck, she wants to be in a relationship. Then you get the dude, and the dude sitting there going, I want to fuck, but I want to be in a relationship. It's it's all about being totally honest about your situation and being like, yo, I'm trying to fuck. Period. That's it. That's all I'm doing. There's nothing more, nothing less. Not changing. This is what's going to be. And you go forward. If that's not the fucking case, well, see, but that's says, again, so that's you being stuck in your way and not trying to conform to what's going on in the here and the now. What a, if I was to conform to the here and the now, then I would have to fucking dip into the Tinder world and have somebody sit there and look at me and just from my appearance for them to sit there and be like, let's do a coffee date from the coffee date. Let's do a dinner date. And then after the dinner date, how do you assume that all of those things have to go on when like? Because that is the no. From what from what I understand, hold up. From what people are telling me, that is how it goes down. Yeah, well, that's not how I hear it. Ray be going on them shits all the time. Yeah, but he's spending money. I don't want to spend money. Okay, but he's spending. I want to spend money to get mine. I'm not trying to spend money trying to be like, dud, 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 dud. That shit adds up. Okay, but, like, if you're going to go to the trouble to go and meet every, like, dud, as you say, not knowing for sure whether it's worth your time or not, like, it's no different than the being out at the bar, like you said, and you're sitting there, you're saying you're standing there. During all that standing there, you could be like, yo, what's up, dud? Yo, what's up, dud? Yo, what's up, dud? Until whatever comes yeah, up. Yeah, but you got to understand something. Some In this day and age, he's like, 
I grew up in the era where guys were bouncing off chicks and being like trying to holler, and you gotta have game. You gotta fucking say that shit. You still gotta have I mean, game. Game yeah, just moves in a different way these days, bro. That's my point. And my point now is just sitting there literally going to, like, I was talking to a girl that's 27 years old being like, yo, your approach of talking to me saying, yo, can I have your number and can I take you on a date? She was floored. Floored. And that's how I knew I was going to get that ass. <laughs> <laughs> I knew <laughs> when I took her to get tacos and the tacos weren't even yeah. that good. The chicken wings were all right, but I knew I spent $120 and I didn't have a car, but I knew she did and I knew she smoked weed and I crushed that night. Cause why? Cause I am a knight of the black table. (laughs) (laughs) As Chance says, I got the juice. Hot hot showers. (laughs) All day, every day. Honestly, the new game now, it's just it's different. Like, you it's all not the that. Shit. Look, honestly, bro, it's not that different. Here's what's flipped up on you, bro, is that, like, from my perspective, they do not want somebody to be, oh, I want, like, on that, like, any of that 90s R&B type shit. Yo, G. No, they don't. Can you grab the, 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 the yeah. handle? The what? The handle. Um, they don't want that shit, bro. Nah, man. Like, they, the average that you're going to see out in these places, they don't want any parts of any of that. They want you to come at them aggressive, hard, straight up, one time, boom, bap type thing. Yeah. If it seems like it's worth it after said boom, bap type thing, if I remember what you look like and your name and your face and your number in the morning, maybe it's a thing. For real, for real. Yeah, I'm looking at you and I was like, is he taking it in or is he so high right now? I'm taking it in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much that is. It's like I'm cooked. <laughs> like, it's just, it, like, it's just, to me, it's just one of those things. Like, you, you shouldn't put all, he says it to me all the time. You shouldn't even think about it. Don't second guess it. Mm-hmm. If it seems like you can go out there and you're talking to this girl while you're out at the club or something like that and she's going to give you some play, then pounce on top of it. If it ain't work out, it ain't work out. The way y'all talking right now, I feel like I want to finna go to freaking that Motown thing tonight and just kind of like... I was thinking about the same thing. Word? Okay. I'm actually kind of thinking like, like, honestly... It's Halloween Halloween night. It's Halloween. It's Devil's Night. It's Devil's Night, but it's Halloween night tonight. Exactly. There's going to be hot bitches up in this bitch right now. Right, and I, if I'm not mistaken, is there no cover to get in those things? No anyways? Cover. Yeah, we just walk in. Don't have five bu- fucking. Actually, I I worked there before, so, so they're on my. We'd be walking. Be ready. Yo, I feel we, like if you we, if you feel the going out tonight, I'm with you. Nothing. I'm letting you know that right I now. Got just say. Pussy. Um. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay, that's, that's that's responsible of you. Good job. <laughs> no, it is. It's actually really awesome. That's why I'm like, fuck yeah. I, agree. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I like how everybody made you feel guilty real quick. It's like, oh, I know. Yeah, I'm not uh, tripping, I'm I not tree there. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's why I, I do my shit during right? the week, man. He's good. He's good. But anyways, hey, yeah. you got to be about your weekend. business and you got to be like, you got to ask yourself the question do I really want to be. And you got to remember. Tomorrow's Halloween, so your teachers are going to let you slide. They yeah, know 110% yeah, exactly, yeah. you're going to go and party. If you go party tonight, you good. Yeah. Nah. Man, you good. Are going to be dressed in such slew outfits? That's just old Like, easy, seriously, that's right now? That's just too easy. No, no. no. The thing about it but is, that's the idea, dude. These dude, girls look, are look, look, not listen, easy. This, this is the way we These do it. These girls are <laughs> fucking insane. You look yeah. good. You look good. You bring in like the one, two, three, four girls that are gonna look good. No, and then we that. just that we don't. We just gotta chill there. Yeah, chill. Hey man, I'm old. <laughs> so for me, when I yeah, see everybody, I see these nude. He just these new literally babies. put out the blueprint to try and hold my ass out tonight. I'm really not going out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not going out. <laughs> I'm really not going out. Sorry. <laughs> but Facts. it ain't happening. Facts. No, not me. That's a thinking ass thing right there. That's a thinking ass thing right there. Thinking ass thinking right there. Thinking. You be thinking. This is how that shit's gonna go. That's a high talk. Right? I ain't doing that right shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah 100%. Exactly. But no, yo, right? if it was the weekend, yo, yeah, Halloween. For sure, for sure. Halloween is just like candy Sorry. corn and chlamydia, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wow. God damn, this man. 
That's wow. some that's some harsh shit. He just right, like, all right. Now I ain't gonna lie. No, I haven't had a video in a long time. Grown man shit. Never had. <laughs> let the man speak. Yo, yo, okay. Let me tell you something. If you really out there playing, and if you really out there playing, you gonna catch chlamydia. It's oh gonna happen. no! Yo, if you see. fuck with plenty of fish, you gonna get gonorrhea and chlamydia. It's gonna said happen. Candy corn and right. chlamydia, bro. Oh, I can't get over it. My God. Yeah. Yo, hey, hey, is it alright if I use that? Because tomorrow's Halloween, so I'm gonna like post the status and be like, "Hey man, everybody, happy Halloween." You know, make sure everybody be safe. Wrap it up. No candy corn and chlamydia. <laughs> please do, please do. That'd be fucking. I'm hilarious. totally gonna do it. That'd be and like, hilarious. you should post it now. I, I really should. You should post it now. It's hilarious. Because <laughs> everybody will see it when they wake up and be like, "That's a People thought." Go out this week. I'll probably go out this weekend after work. I'm going out Friday, after work. Halloween party. It's I'm gonna partying during the week. I hate waking up on a Thursday and it's just like everybody else is doing fucking normal shit. That's the worst. And you're all hungover. I'll be alright. Like look at people in the eye and shit. And be like, <laughs> yeah, I'll be alright. <laughs> you gotta be like, oh yeah, I'm a little I, I, I do yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I got a few years, yo. You'll see for yourself. It ain't no thing. Nah, I'm an old man, man. I used to do that shit. How old, how old are you guys again? Me, I'm 39. You are not getting Nigga, you 39? I'm 39. Good God. So, for me, Good I know. For you, dog. I played that shit. shit. I played the play. Man, play. Just, man just bigged you up twice, yo. He just bigged you up twice. Oh, right? no, I was like, this nigga's like 33, because you're like 33, you know? I'm 32. Yeah, 30, yeah, I know you two are probably around the same age. I'm 26. It's a great thing about being black. Yeah, to him, I'm a pup. No, nah, it's the thing about it is, like, and this is why I talk yeah. about in, in this sense. time. When you're chasing girls these days, like it's hard. It's so hard for you to really, see. But this I just is what feel I, like if a girl wants to fucking get with you, bro, she'll try and get with you. But it's also subjective, right? It's like yeah. her objective. Um, like I don't know. No, it is exactly what you're I saying. I feel like too. I know a lot of people that like have their standards really high. Yeah. And they're like, and they're like, oh, everybody is out here I thinking. I don't think they can get like these because I think Instagram's the worst for that because that dudes be out here think getting Instagram models and shit. And then it's just like, yeah, man, just play your fucking field. People yeah. don't know how to stay no, in their I own lanes. No, I, get it. I get it, though. Cause it's not, and it's not I even just it. about the lanes. Like, no, you're not wrong. You're hitting on a few points that, like, totally... Look, you'll be on that shit. You're not... If you're on POF, if you're on Tinder, you're never going to look at Miss Average and be like, oh, yeah, that's for sure or something that I'm going to swipe right on. Sure you are. Actually, I am. Okay. Sure you are. You're you can trying, be you can be part of that rare breed that's looking for like no, sh- I, yeah, stop it flow of conversation. Yeah. You can be part of that rare breed yeah. that wants to like fall in love. My roommate be like that. I get it. That shit ain't gonna happen to your forty. I'm just being real. With that's you. not facts. Cause I know a girl that was on. That Tinder. shit ain't gonna happen to your forty. She was on Tinder that's and I facts. said to her, I'm like, cause she was just like, you're oh, talking I met to anybody her. in our age group and below that shit. Yo. That shit ain't gonna happen unless that girl is a total pushover and she is just no no no. If she I'm knows in her mind right that she's looking for either a relationship or a sex and she's giving you the option, this is what that girl said to me. Her, the dude that she's with right now, she gave him that option, and I'm and like I said to you, when I tell girls straight up, I'm like, yo, whatever you talk about, if you talk about this is gonna be a fuck thing, it's gonna be a fuck thing. The fear of missing out is a thing, bro. People yeah, but, don't want to give up that time. Yo, I'm this tw- is an era. I'm 22, I'm 23, I'm 25. Yeah, but uh, most want dudes want to fuck and not be in a relationship. Sh- sure. They want to fuck as much as possible. So if a girl comes to you and says, let's be in a relationship, you probably be like, uh, yeah, uh, let's fuck and let's see. And then we'll That's not true. Most 100%. dudes will be like, sure, let's be in this relationship. And then go out next week and then with their buddies and be like, oh, shit, I forgot we had this date. We could do this. We'll be all right. There's to be some, fair? Except for black men. Black men don't cheat. <laughs> uh, no, look how this is. <laughs> I'm not well, talking. not talking about the old things. Y'all talking about my daddy, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Tell it to well, my motherfucking daddy. <laughs> Ask my daddy how many kids he's got outside oh, of his marriage. God. You guys are <laughs> definitely not getting into the Faithful Black Man Association. Let me oh just say God. that right now. Whoa, I'm whoa, barely. I barely know these Negroes. That's all I'm saying right now. I would like to be part of the congregation. The rest of these motherfuckers over here that clearly have no problems with the cheating, they can do their thing. I don't give a fuck. I'm staying faithful as fuck. I'll, yo, 
I, some most, most fuck a lot of girls are just dumb. I can't I can't stand like just conversation. I can't I say, have I say conversations. Dumb shit too, though, so I sound like I cannot girl. have conversations idiot, with this era shit. of women. I cannot like, have I'm just like, a conversation. Like if you can't have if you can't switch it off, you know, it's just like fuck. Do you know how many girls I've met and was just like, I'm gonna give you my number, but I'm talking to somebody. Then why are you giving me your number? Oh, yeah. It's just like, oh, yeah. It's like it doesn't make any... Here. If you're trying to get with somebody else, what is the point of you giving me your number? Do you feel like if I don't have your number that I'm missing out or you're missing out? What the fuck? And you're telling me this that I can't This generation of women feels entitled mm -hmm. to a fucking degree that is just absolutely disgusting. You can pour your heart into these women and they will still feel like... Nah, you, you guys watch Bill Burr stand up? Yeah, he's fucking hilarious. Yeah, you'll, you, you'll fucking shit your pants. Yeah, he's fucking hilarious. Look. Like he's he the way like the way these women sometimes are these days is just like because there's because of things like you said Instagram is a big issue of this, yeah. right? Like they're always looking, and don't get me wrong, we're, us guys we're looking too. We're looking too, but in a different degree. Girls cheat mentally before guys physically cheat right we cheat we could we don't cheat necessarily more so if we ever did if we ever did it's just so subjective it is subjective yeah, it is super subjective. subjective but you can tell though a woman is cheating before she's actually like kissed sex no. or anything like that yeah you can no. yeah you can no, totally no, 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 no. have you not watched the tyler perry movie no. with that Yo, and let me tell you something about Tyler Perry. Half of his shit is fucking straight bullshit. But no, it's legit. On top of when it. a girl starts doing herself up after years Yo, in a relationship, when, when, a girl it's starts done, doing stuff right when it's done and she's putting it in your face, she'll go and I'll tell you this. The minute your girl gets fresh yep. underwear. Yep. Uh, be safe. Yeah. I'll be see safe you The minute tomorrow. your girl gets fresh underwear, she just goes yep. and buy new yep. underwear. She's fucking somebody else. She doesn't need to be. That's what I'm trying to say. They say the realest shit. You don't, you don't need to be physically having sex or beating. It's, oh, it's the simple fact of getting attention, mm -hmm. right? A lot of these women shit. these days, the That's minute, because like, say, for example, Instagram, right? That's My ex boring. posted like four or five pics in the space of six hours just to sit there totally and show off her ass because we were no longer stuff. done. Oh, like we were like, sorry, yeah. we were no longer talking, mm -hmm. right? That prime example is because they crave attention. There's a post yeah. that Gary Vee posts out, and he's like, we crave people to say they like us. We crave people to say, give us compliments. We've gotten so diluted with the fact of like just people like giving us praise mm -hmm. that we forgot that we don't give a fuck about their praise at the end of the day because it should be us doing us. Girls mm -hmm. on Instagram, that's why they have the whole term Instagram ho. Right. right, because you'll have these Instagram models posing and getting all these acclimates for stupid shit. All of these guys like us who see these things and we're business owners and we're like, oh, well, there's a good looking girl. Sex sells. Let me throw my product on this girl because that way she can promote it Yo, to listen. her 50,000 followers. Hold on a second. Because like all of that shit is relative. Mm -hmm. But like, I generally won't like female posts. Like I, I don't. I, That's fair. I, I won't like them at all. That's fair. I'll see it. Like you see it, I get to see it anyway. Yeah. So I, don't, I have the choice to click that like button or to not. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do that and feed into any of the bullshit. If you choose and that's a good to, thing. That's a good thing. If you choose to, then you have no right to complain because you're feeding the beast. Yes. Right. So that's another thing. So instead of us, we should stop feeding into that shit. Is we basically should. what you're saying. We should, and I agree with that actually. We should clear up in a few here. Yeah. I want to make this easier for everybody going into it tomorrow. Um, we're going to revisit this. And we're going to come at it in a... Whew, this is one hell of a show. That R&B <laughs> shit, shit threw me right the fuck up. Right? So, yeah, you know what? Look, Chris Brown said it the best, man. It's Jose Loyal. It's Jose Loyal. And it's never a right time to say goodbye. And I'm not talking about you ladies, you women out there. I'm talking about these hoes. <laughs> that was like a perfect opportunity for sign off and he didn't yeah. even take it you know what I mean yeah, yeah. I was like it's never a right time to say goodbye but we gotta let it burn because we're moving mountains tonight anyways guys nice to the black table nice to the black table nice to the and black I'm not table. moving any mountains why would you have a bat cause this is great that's what, what? come on man we, we, it's yo. okay you got it bad what are you talking about I don't have anything bad what the fuck are you talking listen if I'm gonna end this shit I'm gonna end it properly with some John Witherspoon type shit <laughs> Bang, 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 bang. Right? <laughs>
<laughs> All right, guys, we out. Have a good you night, man. Let's not slap your mama. Slap it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Call it cut. <laughs>